little angel. <laughs> that's that's the noise you need to hear after that. Hello. And welcome back to Still a Little Bit Dead. But let's go to the void. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Get beheaded? Get impaled? Fall from grace? Live a mortal life full of watching angels explode? <laughs> uh... Become overwhelmed by the traumatic memories we hold? To the point of death? Get murdered by an army of angels? Nah, not us. <laughs> not like this. But hello, I do hope you're all doing well today. I keep needing to do a command for this. Let's do a little yonder. A little, a little yonder. I do hope you all are doing well today. And if not, hey, that's okay. It's been, it's been. It's, it's, it's heckin' been, you know? And that's okay. And that's okay, you know? We're here, we're doing our best. We're back in the, back in the usual setup. Thankfully. I've found, I think I found an ending we haven't got yet with Death Row. <laughs> so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a go. But I do hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, grab a yonder right now. With three trials available. There we go. I I would be lying if I said I didn't hunt this song down on the internet, um, and and listen to it a lot over the last couple of weeks. I would indeed be lying if I said I didn't do that because I did. Let me check their sound. I don't I don't trust technology anymore. <laughs> If you are there, I do sincerely hope you're having a wonderful day. It's hard to know what mood I'm in at the minute. Oh, apparently I'm not live. Well, that's great. <laughs> oh, it's all, it's all breaking the law, breaking the world. Well, say. What's up to chill? I hope you're doing well today. It's what you do with songs you love. Go for it. Yep. Yep. That's that's what happens with New Year songs as well. It's like, man, love that song. None of the words make any sense. Deep dive. <laughs> Listen to it seventeen thousand times until you get it. The one thing I've the one song I've not been able to do that with has been the Wolven Storm in Polish. That, that one's gonna take some more time, but one day maybe. Some great illusion magic, right? One would assume, who, who knows, it's Twitch. No one can assume anything. But we do have, we're back in the regular setup. I don't think we've been in the regular, pardon me, setup for this game, which is exciting. Although I have switched my screen round, screens round. So it is a little different. I have a nice, noisy keyboard now that I can use to switch and a nice noisy mouse that I can use to switch seamlessly from frame to frame. Me and Honkai Impact songs? Ooh. Near and Zelda Revival. Yep. All of the above. All of the above. But yes, we are once again playing. I now did this because I was stalling hard enough. 
Right now, you can grab a Yonderworld interview with the Void at the following links. Support the devs. There is an update coming very soon that will give you achievements for the different endings, an ending tracker, and more root for the wonderful Cassius, as played by a lovely contraption who was uh, attempting to romance a death row once again yesterday and did pretty fucking well. I'm kind of mad. <laughs> I'm kind of mad. They they got to the ending we got last time with the uh with the big floaty with the big floatiness at the end. So yeah, and I think still testing negative for COVID, so it seems we've dodged a bullet, which is good. Still definitely have some form of cold. And the voice is feeling a lot better today. So we shall continue. And yes, we were wondering last time, I was like, maybe we'll just go straight into Cass's today. See what's going on with Cass. However, however, I did a little bit of digging. We have an ending left with Dethera. And for that, I needed to remember which save files I put. Which I didn't. So after a lot of clicking, and a lot of despair, I found it. In this route, in the story so far, we are somewhat successfully romancing Zethera, whose voice comes to me spookily naturally at this point. Um, we... Let me, let me check the info. I don't want to be giving you lies. Um, there is a handy dandy walkthrough currently also available. Um, we have, um, talk, been to the Hall of Memory maybe once. Been looking at, uh, well, a little bit more. Oh no, wait, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, Hall of Memory, a little bit of chatting with the others. A um, little bit more research hall. Have the compass. Uh, talk about our feelings with Deathrell. Um I don't think we have the knife in this one. <laughs> Spiritually, we always have the knife. Um, yes. Um, we are... Uh, check, check the last pod. We're, we're doing the that. We, we're doing the romance. We're focusing on Death Row. Only, I think, yeah, a little bit. Only, I think, a little bit of, um... Of Hall of Memory. I believe. This document is slightly different, but we can make it work. So yes, we do. There is another ending, though. I don't know how we missed it. <laughs> but, again, please do join us as we go into the void. And once we finished with Deathrow, of course, we have Cassius, who we're vaguely friends with and who isn't dead. Oops, sorry about that. And I, do, I believe who isn't dead in this route. Um, might be wrong. And Arxan, who is still very meh about us. <laughs> Which one day will change. We will romance her one day. So we are... Yes, this is the part where we're promising her, like, We'll do... We can... We can give you what you want. And she's like, oh, really? What would you give... What would you do for me? Little old me. What exactly do you think you can do for me? And for this route, we're just gonna reread everything we've already read. Um, unless it's like the irrelevant memories. And then when we start a new route, we'll just generally do the same. If it's a really big, chunky text of stuff we've done before, we'll kind of just read dialogue or skip through it. And then, yeah, figure it all out. Because there's a lot. There's a lot of dialogue, so... What exactly do you think you can do for me? Insecurity raises its ugly head. What exactly do I think I can do for her? Why do I think I can do anything for someone like Deathrell? 
And why am I so desperate for Deathrell to know that I can be of use to her? That's a very loud keyboard. I'm gonna move it far away. <laughs> oh no, I unplugged something accidentally. We're, we're all right. So at this point, last time we said we didn't know. We didn't, we didn't simp too hard. This time, I do anything for your love. Anything. We love, we love her. Anything. I, I mean it. If there is anything I can do for you, I would do it. You, you have only ever been kind, even though I'm an unwanted guest. You've saved my life. You stood up for me when you didn't have to. I know, I know there's not much I can do, but surely you just... Oh, it's weird. I'm so glad you say it. I did not do any of that for you. I understand. Still, I... If I ask you to take your own life, would you do it? <laughs> you said anything, did you not? Or was that a lie? Deathrell. I don't know what to say to her. I don't know what to do except to helplessly stare up at death Deathrell, waiting for her to say something. Give me an instruction. Tell me what to do. It is not a transaction, you know. I did not do anything for you, and I do not expect any repayment. Think of my actions and my words however you wish, but I did not do anything because I thought you would be of use to me. Is that like a really subtle read? Just like, you're kind of shit. Kind of useless. There's not much you could really do for me. <laughs> but your time is your own, little angel. Use it to your heart's content and not for others. You do not have to be useful to someone to earn your self-worth. <sighs> At that moment, something warm and gentle settles over my heart, chasing away the ever-increasing pain of my grace. I love you. Oh heck. Oh heck. I love you. I love you so much. It's difficult to seek out someone in the Yonder. First off, how does one even do it? Should I stand there like an idiot in Death Rowell's hall, opening and closing the door while noisily peering inside each room? I can't do that. I would certainly melt from the mortification. I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of her. The shock of yesterday sent me into an emotional overdrive, enough to keep me from getting much sleep. It's certainly concerning, the erratic pattern of my rest schedule that it is, but I couldn't help it. Caught among the fear of being almost killed by Cassius. Oh no, he dead. All right, Cassius and Finnan both dead. Oh, oh, oh no, yeah, no. If he attacks, he dies. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> sorry. The relief of being saved and the budding realization of how I feel towards Deathrow. I didn't know if I should scream or cry or laugh hysterically. What even is my life? Before I was attacked by Cassius, I was thinking of helping Deathrell as a task. After speaking to Deathrell, that no longer feels right. With doubts warring against my emotions, I decided enough is enough, and I need to help. Ito is my first choice. He has always been helpful ever since we first met. He cares a great deal about Deathrow, and he clearly loves his sister. He would definitely be able to offer great insights. Of course, only if I manage to get my thoughts in order and to ask the proper questions, that is. By default, Rubeus is my second choice. 
Regardless of what happened, Death Row adored him. They clearly cared about, about each other a great deal, and probably still do, otherwise Rubeus wouldn't be around here so much. They are only the only logical options, though I can't help feel but nervous. Is this how a mortal feels when they ask permission from someone's family to court them? <sighs> Saijima, what are you thinking? <laughs> Smacking my own cheeks to refocus on the task at hand, I stare at the door, debating on the options. It would suck if one of them was with Death Row right now. Mmm, so... Yeah, this makes sense now. Last time, we proactively searched out Ito. Because why the fuck wouldn't you proactively search out Ito? Because we trust Ito. Ito is very cool. Ito is also a, a, a being of deception or whatever, but like, that's that. It's fine. Um... Why would you look for Rubeus? Why would you possibly look for Rubeus? Well, we're gonna look for Rubeus, beesh. Research hall! I've run into Rubeus before in the research hall. Maybe I'd run into him again today. The chances are a bit slim, but I don't have any way of knowing whereabouts of him or either him or Ito. At the very least, going to the research hall might give me a chance to get my thoughts in order, whether I'm seeing anyone or not. Door scared me. God damn it. Angie! Ah, uh, so it's empty after all. Right. Would immediately leaving seem weird? Death Row didn't really say anything when I entered her throne room, but it took a lot out of me to not blush furiously in front of her. I... I don't think I can keep a level head around her right now as I ought to do. Rather, I would just burst out saying something stupid. With a sigh, I sit down at one of the desks and pick up a book. Time ticks by, slowly, quietly. Despite being something that I have not read yet, I can't get seem to get past the first page. I've never... I've never been like this before. So distracted by my own thoughts that I can't even read. Ah, that's what it is. That's why I can't read. Noted. <laughs> I keep thinking about yesterday. I keep thinking about what I'm feeling. What if Death Row had stopped me on the way to this room? What would I have said? I don't want to ramble on and say something stupid. I'm not... I'm not ready yet. This emotion, this budding affection... Love. Ah, ah, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> what is? Oh, ah! <laughs> that was a real reaction. We'll use it. We'll use it. <laughs> Let me turn the music down a little touch as well. There you we go. Hopefully you can hear everything okay. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Why does he have to be so quiet? Suddenly, I rub at the bruise on my hip while Rubeus only stands there watching, judging, me with a silent scowl. Ah, uh, crap, I I'm supposed to ask him some things. Uh, uh, you... you scared me a little there. <laughs> you have no awareness. I... uh, what? It... it's only because you're so quiet. I'm quiet. Anyone else would say that my presence is among the loudest. If you are ignorant enough to not notice, then... He trails off, seeming to be lost in his thoughts. Much to my bafflement and an amount of humiliation, Rubeus walks towards a desk, looking like he has completely forgotten about my presence. Hey, at least finish your thought! Rubeus doesn't say anything. It is both infuriating and unnerving. I don't dare to push him either. There's something about Rubeus that is just deeply unsettling now that I'm actually around him in a somewhat tense situation. I raised my voice earlier because I didn't think. That's right. 
I don't know much about Rubeus other than through Deathrell's stored memories. Of course, the way he treats me would be completely different from the way he is around her. Very slowly, Rubeus looks at me, his blood-red eye seething with rage. Speak to me in that tone again, and you shall be eviscerated. I... I... Weak. Disruptive. Useless. I do not know why you are here, and I do not care. But if you cause any more delays to Kara's plan, I shall personally see to it that there is only strife upon your path. A, a delay? I... I, I don't... I don't mean to... Your tears are meaningless. Wrong voice. Get out of my sight. <laughs> oh yeah, that happens. Good old, good old Ruby. Good old Ruby. We love oh, we miss Ruby. My favorite character. <laughs> Not my favorite character. Be happening. You. Not expecting Axon to whirl around and advance upon me so angrily, I startle and stumble backwards. W what do you want? What do I want? What do I want? Axon, calm down. How could I be calm? We were so close, and this... this creature... It is not like either of you would remember anything anyway. It is not like anyone would remember. So this is... this is something you have seen before? Perhaps I have. Then why, Shandu? Why didn't you put a stop to it before it came to pass? I did not. For even the very wise cannot see all ends. <laughs> very well. Excuse me for my outburst. I shall take my leave and make preparations for what is to come. Bowing to death, Ral Axon retreats towards the door. I jump out of the way, shrinking at the scathing glare she throws me. It doesn't take a genius to understand why Axon is so cross. Because of me, another person died. Rules are rules, yes, but on a power and efficiency standpoint, Deathrowl should have let Finnan and Cassius do whatever they wanted. Especially when Cassius was helping Deathrowl herself with research. Weak, disruptive, useless. Rubeus is right on all accounts. Ah, the general public is so difficult to please. Deathrow hums, seeming more amused than anything. Then again, she has always seemed amused about everything. I don't think I've ever been able to correctly gauge her reactions or attitude towards anything. How can I claim to love her when I don't even understand anything about her? Hmm. What is with the long face, little angel? Did Axon rattle you that much? She... I... You... You should have... What? Let you die. <laughs> I... I... Deathrell raises a hand. I clamp my mouth shut. You are... An angel. Rules are rules, are they not? That is... But... You have grown. I... I have? I have. That is true. Rules are rules. If one overlooks rules for certain pros and cons, then we would be just like the mortals, bending them for our own benefits. But... But... You disagree. I... I'm conflicted uh, about this whole ordeal. Naturally. <laughs> this is not something you can come to terms with in just a few meager days. You are an angel, after all. Still, to think that you have managed to change this far, I thought it would take a lot more. Hmm, never mind that. What is the state of your grace? M my... grace? 
with everything that just happened and she she cares enough to ask about my grace? I... well... Regardless of how touched I am by the question, the topic itself is not something I'm too enthusiastic about. My hand goes over to my chest automatically, clutching at the flesh under the fabric. The pain is a constant. I've gotten used to it now, so it... I, I guess it doesn't bother me as much anymore. Have you made peace with the fact that you will eventually turn mortal here in the Yonder, then? I have been avoiding thinking about it. I guess if it's gonna happen, then I'll just accept it. Right now, I have almost all basic needs for mortal to survive. I guess on a subconscious level, I'm already used to it. I think... I think the thing that bothers me the most is how my grace has been draining away. Like, like I'm going to fall, but not quite. Do you regret the choices you have made? The thoughts you have had? I... I don't. The truth is not always beautiful. And the truth is, I was treated horribly. No amount of repressed emotions or glossing over is going to change that. The pain spikes, but I don't even flinch. It is what it is. I realize that even if I hadn't had those thoughts, even if I didn't make the choices I had, eventually my abilities would have been drained away anyway. I would just end up a human with wings otherwise. But you do not wish to return to your heavens. Not anymore. Not anymore. I have to decide on my own path, right? I know we've spoken about this, but I've decided to make myself of use to you. It does sound like I'm just relapsing into what I know all my... Ex my life. And maybe it is. I'm... I'm not going to ask you for what you want anymore. I'm going to find out how I can be of help, and I will do my best. Because this is my own selfish choice. So please... Please wait for me. Hmm. <laughs> Do as you please. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, nothing new there. Yet. <laughs> Ultimately, it really was best to just talk to Dethera. Resolves made, I stand over my memory pillar with newfound confidence. Let's do this. Alright, let's skip through here. This is our first day at the, at the job. We're gonna go and look at all the different places in heaven. There's the archives we're not allowed in. There are other things we're not allowed in. And then we had to do lots of chores and lots of cleaning, which really bores. And then we fell into the alchemical rack, which is how we got here. Sajim is available exchange. Two. That... that wasn't too bad. I have two memories ready to, e to be exchanged now. And since I started out with something not so extreme, I think I can keep going. Despite my bravado, I know this memory is not going to leave me in a good state after. It is, after all, probably my most upsetting memory. Closing my eyes, I twist the key, bracing myself for the pain to come. We had a friend. Her name was Lily. 
She was our best friend, we were best friends. And then it turned out that she was Lilith. And Heaven was like, fuck that. And then Heaven chased her out, but she escaped and then we got punished for it because we were her friend. And then she escaped so they couldn't punish us. Her, so they punished us instead. How dare we have a friend who is ginger and also supposedly evil. <laughs> Even though we didn't mean to, we felt very betrayed and very sad. Saijima's available exchange. Three. So we need four for Death or Owl's memory. I slumped to the ground, dejected. I do want to cry, but can't find the strength to. Moreover, for the first time in a very long time, I wonder what really happened to Lily. Or Lilith. They never told me what she really did other than managing to slip past Heaven's guard and fool everyone. She even managed to escape. What a mess. I curl up my knees and tuck them under my chin. Surprisingly, I'm not reacting so badly to reliving that memory. Lily... Lilith was the first one to ever get so close to me personally. I've had my fair share of caretakers and superiors, nursery and ac academy fellow students, but never a friend like her before. Pardon me. I was in a particularly bad spot when I first met Lilith, too. I almost flunked most of my classes at the secondary academy and barely got accepted as a novice after failing the entrance test several times. I didn't know what to do about my failures. The harder I tried to study to be more diligent, the worse I failed. If she hadn't been by my side, I don't know how my mental state would have turned out. Even if it was all a lie, I can't deny that she was the nicest to me when everyone was ready to drop me to a lower layer. Yes. Those who fail so spectacularly like I did would have been delegated to oversee mortal souls. A troublesome job for the troublesome angels. Or so I was told. The way I was raised is pretty screwed up, huh? <sighs> I wish I knew what happened to Lilith. Guess I'll never find out. Right. <sighs> right. Shakily, I stand up and look down at the memory pillar. Since I didn't react too strongly to seeing this memory, maybe I should go for one more. It would be the last one I need to get to see that memory from Dathoral. Should I submit a happy memory this time? Though I don't think I can feel anything better than forlorn even after a happy memory. Hmm. My mind wanders and I find myself theorizing, which... Probably isn't a very good thing. This place just needs a memory, doesn't it? A memory that elicits strong emotions or is important in some way. By that logic, wouldn't it accept memories that happened in the Yonder, too? Would it accept memories of me watching another's memory? Maybe the latter is pushing it, but the former is totally feasible, right? If that's the case, then the memory of my 28th day here would count, right? When we fall in love, we won't put them when we fall in love. Maybe I'm trying to be a little too smart for my own good here. <laughs> but letting out a long exhale, I turn the key once more, ready for the onslaught of emotions. Memory registered. Sajima's available exchange. Four. I collapse to the floor, gasping and heaving. A headache presses tightly behind my eyes and my entire body is racked with uncontrollable shivers. I curled myself on the floor, clinging to the gentle tone Deathrell had with me, and the swell of affection I had for her at the very last moment of the memory. She came for me. She came to save... me. 
She came to save me when I called for her. Regardless of how terrifying that whole situation was two days ago, that, that single fact has kept me moving forward. I have someone who protects me now. I just... I just have to be worthy of her. <gasps> New content! Rubeus' hostility makes me curl a little more into myself. But I find an anger spiking up in my heart. He is just as cruel as Finnan was. Unreasonable! How did Deathra love someone like that? How can someone so gentle associate herself with someone like Rubeus? Right. They're not real siblings. Inhaling and exhaling deeply, I gradually managed to get my body to relax. My wings, having splattered themselves around my shoulders, loosen. I stand, running a hand through my hair and brushing down my clothes. I've done it. I've completed what I came here to do. Now, to get my reward. I walk towards Deathrell's memory pillar, heart thudding heavily in my chest. My hand feels clammy around the key. Something hot blooms in my chest as I stand before the pillar. For the life of me, I can't tell if it's excitement or anxiety. What am I going to find? Mm. Alright. Let's find out. Again. <laughs> we'll, we'll always do this scene. It's so dramatic. We love it. We love it. This fall's death roll's memory feels somewhat different. The fall is longer. The darkness seems colder. The emptiness is there, a staple aside from the one memory where death roll still had her emotions intact. But it is strange, somehow. Uh, I can't put my finger on why it feels strange, but it, it, it is there, and it frustrates me. That, too, melts away, as with all emotions in Deathrell's memories. Melts away with the red sunset. Red. He knew the color red so early in life. It was in the heavy drapes of his bed, the stiff coarseness of his floor, and the eternal sunset. It was the colour of his father's whip, stained, whistling. It was in his mother's eyes, wild like her horse screams. It was in the nails of his grandmother, clutching until his pale arm matched them in colour. Memories might fade, but the redness remained bruised in a vast thatch of his mind. He hated red. Yet I made us live here. He hated it, and fell in love with it all the same. Was I cruel to do so? Was I trying to force him to heal, to dissociate? If so, he never said a word, never complained, never was sullen. As long as we all stayed together, even though it was me who took him apart and reformed him to what he is now. <gasps> Wait. Wait. Hmm, ideas, ideas. And yet, it was me who ruined it. Hmm. What a terrible sister I am. There is no remorse within me as I push the gate open. They made their choices. I made mine. Perhaps they had foreseen the consequence that followed, and perhaps they did not. Either way, none can escape me now. Everything is immaculate and empty. 
mostly empty. The structure has never made any sense. A domestic home in a world scorched by a red sun. A home full of the greatest terrors in all existences, or so one would claim. Ito has always been amused by this. Chaos amuses him. I never understood him, for I was a being of order. I never understood him, until chaos became me. But then I can never become amused again. I really have put that child through so much hardship. Hmm. But I can no longer say sorry to him. Not with the sincerity that he deserves. The variables are slim, but maybe, just maybe, I can apologize to him when the loop finally ends. Ruby adores this room. Perhaps I should keep it. He is bound to visit, after all. Though I would doubt he would ever set foot into it. A child never deals with that well. The most impulsive, yet the sweetest of all. I never wanted to make him cry, and yet I did. A truly abhorrent sister. For selfish reasons, I made my choices. I willingly destroyed everything we had. I erased what could have been our future together. I ate my heart, just so my love could survive. Just so my love may return, one day. I do not feel any regret. Even after breaking his heart. Even after breaking all of their hearts. I cannot feel any regret. I remember the last words I spoke to them. Before it all happened. I ate my heart. But I never wished to break yours. <laughs> How poetic. I did not even say sorry. My love, my love. The sky is falling down today. I will bring down the sun today. Everything will cease. Everything will fall into motion as I will it. Everything will wait. As I do. We danced here once. It is here that we have shared so many laughs where we existed without worry. Here is also where he waited. Where he spiralled when I was gone. When I was scattered with almost no hope of returning. They began meticulously gathering every piece of me and brought me back to his side. And here... Here shall I begin my weaving. This is where... I stopped. If I could still feel dread, I would have. But I turn to look, anyway. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Why must they take you away? Why must we be constantly separated? Why? 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 I love you. I love you. Why could they not just leave us alone? I... 
everything. With these hands, I have destroyed everything. With my power, I have eviscerated all who opposed us every step of the way, until there is not even a fraction of them left to defy us in the future. Still. Still, it was not enough to restore you. There is something I am missing. And I shall search for it. Across all that is as you have once done for me. And I shall hold on to what I can of you. And to the purest fragment left of me. I will keep our promise and I will. Wait. Over. And over. Again. Until we are reunited once more. Endlessly waiting. Endlessly dreaming under the eternal night. Until the moon burns red and the stars all die. Until darkness blackens the sky. Scale. I love you. Scale. The light is retreating. A shroud is pulled over the sky. This is it. This is where I shall wait. This is where we will meet again. I will see you in the Onda. Heart of my heart. I cry as I fall. Fall and fall and fall. As death rolls declarations of love echo in my head. That love is not for me. Oh, the ground is cold where I fall. No one catches me. No one will. How does it feel to love someone who does not love you back? I love her. I love her. I love her. She doesn't love me. Not in the way I love her. Not in any way. How can she love me when she can't even feel? How can she love me when she has loved him so much? She has sacrificed everything for him. How can she love me when I am me? My anguished cry echoes against the solemn walls as the pillars seem to bear down upon me with the weight of the truth. How could I ask her to wait for me when she only ever waits for him? What is my love so impressionable and naive to compare to a love that has lasted through so much grief and strife? A love that ancient. How can I compete with it? Even if she ever comes to love me in the impossible scenario that she ever comes to love me like she loved Scale, I would never be capable of bearing her love. I am falling, and even if I wasn't, I would become immortal soon enough anyway. I slam my fist on the floor, unable to contain the despair within me. Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> All around my feathers are falling like snow. Weak, disruptive, useless. I scream, hitting the floor harder and harder, ignoring the fact that my bruised skin is beginning to break. What? What is going on? <laughs> the sudden thunderous sound startles me and the trembling ground beneath me sends me sprawling. What? What's happening? 
Another thunderous broom. Boom. The ground is shaking so viciously I fear it is going to crack beneath my feet. His... Oh no. Everything is falling apart. Chunks of the marble floor begin splintering, sending a web of cracks towards me. Screaming, I bolt to my feet, scrambling towards the door. Dethero! Dethero! The Hall of Memories! What is this? Where is this? This is the library, but... The sound of shattering violently sends me back to the predicament at hand. Screaming, I put my arms up to cover my head, stumbling to the ground. As sudden as those thunderous noises and motions came, they faded away just as abruptly. My heartbeats fill my ears, my body shuddering with this terrible sense of anticipation. I need to get up. I need to find Detherel. I need to... <laughs> Hello, little angel. <laughs> she greets me. But there is no longer a smile upon her lips. There is no inquisitive chime in her voice, no knowing yet kind look to make me flustered. Her eyes... Why are they so far away? Why are they so... sad? Dethero... The glass ceiling for the library has completely collapsed. Distantly, I'm aware that the shelves and walls are falling, too, sending books upon books tumbling to the ground. But I cannot take my eyes off her. It seems this is goodbye. Death roll! I'm... I'm sorry! Is this... Is this because of me? <laughs> is it? I wonder. Tell me, little angel, do you know what is happening? I... I, I don't, but I, I know this has something to do with me, doesn't it? It's because of the choices I've made! Because I am... because I'm so ignorant! It's my fault, it's always my fault! She hums, but the sound is almost lifeless without the musical cadence she possesses so naturally. Perhaps it is so, but this is just another outcome of another path. The decisions you have made and the decisions of others are endlessly interwoven, affecting one another in the slightest of ways. So small, so insignificant, yet it can affect so much, destroy so many other outcomes. Death Row. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I can only utter her name as tears stream down my face. She is unmoved. The rage I had felt earlier has evaporated. There is no fear either, just regret and sadness. Even I, so clueless and unaware of everything but the thing I focus on, know that this is the end. There is no one else around. No one else has shown up. What did Axan say? That she is going to make preparations? They all know and they are all prepared for what is to come. Except for me. And because of that, all I can do is accept it. There is no amount of rage, no amount of struggling I can do to get away from this. But if that's the case, then so be it. My love can never amount to how much Dethrel loved Scale or how he loved her. But if I am allowed to, I would want to spend my last moments looking at her like this. When there is none left around her, I want to be the last one who stays. I just wish I could make her smile again. But that has never been my role. Has it? I thought you could change when you lied to me upon our first meeting. But this is not meant to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I disappointed you. Is it disappointment? I wonder. 
Something luminous begins to gather in her raised hand. The wind picks up around me, hissing like an unseen serpent ready to strike. All around as the yonder is collapsing. Pieces of the rooms I have frequented, pieces of the rooms I never have are whirling out of control, evaporating into the red moonlight. It is only then do I notice the throbbing pain in my chest, intensifying with every second that ticks by. Still, I keep my eyes strained on death row, unwilling to miss a thing. I do not judge. I would not lay the blame at your feet. You are unaware. You were meant to be here, but not for this purpose. What? What could I have done? Would that mean anything now if I tell you? It wouldn't... It wouldn't change a thing other than deepening my regrets before my final moment. So this is the end. For this chapter, yes. What are you talking about? I made a promise, little one. Until the moon burns red and the stars all die. Until blackness bla until darkness blackens the sky. As you can see, only one part of that promise is fulfilled. To the death or all. She hums again, a ghost of a smile on her lips. I'm sorry, little one, but this path is not meant for you. It is of nothing significant. If you follow it from beginning to end, it might still have led you elsewhere. For even the very wise cannot see all our ends. Death Row, I... I love... Fare thee well, little one. Shit! I don't think that changed anything! Or changed much, at least. Ugh, what? It hurts. <sighs> Slowly, I blink the blur away from my eyes and get up. Ow, ow, ow! No, no! I jump up, panicking as glass shards scatter down from my body. What is... What... What am I gonna do? You must submit an accident form and submit it to your nearest supervisor immediately. Ah. Blinking, I stared down at my clipboard, flipping it around this way and that. Oh, by the lord. I'm so relieved nothing happened to you. I distinctly remember shielding my face with it. <laughs> oh, thank goodness nothing broke. System is functioning at 100%. Yeah, yeah. Right, you said an accident form, yes? Correct. Ugh, forms. The form appears on paper regardless. Shaking my head, I carefully put the clipboard onto the other side of the table where there's no alchemical splatters. Something falls out of my pocket. Huh? The key is cool to the touch, thrumming with energy. The stone embedded on it glows, softly pulsing to a soundless rhythm. It is like nothing I've seen before. I would have definitely remembered it if I'd picked it up somewhere. Try as I may, I can't seem to remember where I got it. Hmm. Strange. I almost asked the clipboard about the key, but stopped myself. For some reason, I don't want to show anyone the key. Please fill out the phone quickly. Fine, fine, I'm getting to it, sheesh. Shoving the key back in my pocket, I go and comply with the stupid clipboard's request, but not without complaints. All the while, the key lies hidden in my pocket, humming gently to a tune I never heard before, but soothes me greatly. A smile blooms on my lips, somewhat nostalgic, somewhat sad for reasons I do not know. So cold, so gentle. No! 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 What did we miss? Seventeen! Hmm. Maybe we did, because I know we got that ending before. I don't know. I'll have to consult the experts on this. 
Sasa's end. We need good end. We need good end. We didn't get good end. Heck. I mean, it was good to get a reminder of all of that. 19 and less friendship. Yeah. Because I'm following the walkthrough. At least from that point. Right, so we'll do this. See where we're at by the time we get to the end. Hmm. This is the question. So we're only at 17 there. But we didn't get the good end. This is the problem, we've gotten so many endings now. I cannot keep track. Boop, 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 boom. I mean, the question is at this point, do you want to speed run? <laughs> speed. Do you want to go full speed run? And see... <laughs> and see if we can get it. Or do you just want to start a new romance? And I'll try and figure it out off stream. So I'll have to con consult with the experts on this. Speed run? Alright. We can we can speed it. Alright, uh ba bum. Alright, what in Let's just go fully, fully from the beginning. We'll be Velus. Saijima is put to rest. Clear the classroom. Don't know if the compass makes a difference, actually. Hmm. What if we don't get the compass? Does that matter? Okay. Okay. So let's let's clean the classroom. Wee! Oh no! Lie. Wee! Oh eh oh eh oh eh. This is also the part we struggle with because we have to make sure we meet everybody. Which we're not also great at <laughs> sometimes. Um, surprisingly, one of the harder things to do. Uh, ask. 
continue. Uh, go out. We hope you're doing well today, Hans. Ah. <laughs> uh, it is greater than or equal to two. Yes. No. No, don't. Uh, stay quiet. Uh, bad habit. Um, right. Throne room. Got Ito. Alright, now we just need fuckface. Um. <laughs> Have a night! Throne room. Par. Darn mine. Uh, auto cast both. Uh, uh, death throw. Anyway. Let me meet Ito. Oh! Rip. What? What? Wait. We haven't met Ito here? Could have sworn. Yo, I'll take, I'll take an Ito conversation any day of the week. Hi. Hello, Ito. Hello, Velas. Here for some refreshments? I am, yes. Don't mind me then. Help yourself. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, for once, silence is pleasant. Ito seems to be content enjoying his tea while I'm rummaging around the cupboards. It's a relief to see a friendlier face and not run into the demon at that. Ito is the first person who hasn't made a remark about me being an angel, and has been nothing but polite. Okay, so we have done the rest. Okay. Uh, de sorry, Tethral. Oh, shit. I blurred out before I could stop myself. Y you call her Dee Dee? No, of course I do. We're pretty close, you know. One might say we're like brother and sister. You are? A look of hurt flashes in his eyes. I quickly backtrack. Uh, nah, sorry. <laughs> it's just, uh, shocking. Oh, you wound me, Valus. But it's true, you know. We're pretty close. Uh oh Doesn't sound any less shocking than the first time he said it. So casually, too. Perhaps this is my chance to get to know Death Row a little more through a different perspective. Are you just... visiting? I am. Um... Someone has to check on her every now and again. Really? I is she in trouble or something? There is a pause. I thought I've crossed a line, but Ito continues. His smile never once wavers. You can say something like that. What? A chuckle ripples out of him, melodic in cadence just like his tone. Aren't you a fun one, Bellows? Uh... Are you messing with me? <laughs> Wouldn't dare to. Dee Dee is an interesting figure. Of course you'd want to know more about her. I, I mean... Interesting might be downplaying it a bit. Don't I know that. Alright. Okay, so that's a different conversation. 
Interesting. Watch. Fight, 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 fight. I forgot. How about just passing through? I forgot. Alright, alright. Uh, room activity. Ah, uh -huh. I'm gonna do a quick save as well. Right. Um. Uh, unlock lounge. <laughs> Pardon me. I think. We need to go to the lounge. Not sure. Maybe. Yes. Listen. The first biggest mistake we made. Ever. Uh. Oh, what was the question? True death is. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Still agree. Um. Yes. <laughs> wee wee. Oh, not dream slap. All right, what day are we on? Uh, twelve. Twelve. Uh, throne room. Uh, throne room. Ask about the hall of memory. Uh All other room choice will lead to the throne room. Minus death row. That's okay. Throne room it is! Hey, what's up Ludo? Hope you're doing well today. Oh, uh, it's Vinan Uh Uh, uh Fuck you Finan. I like Finnan, but fuck Finnan. I do hope you're doing well today, Lula. Uh, nah, fuck Finnan. I'm going to... Ask about the Hall of Memory. Tell me about the Hall of Memory. Ooh, I must respect authority. Meow. Meow. I don't, yeah, I don't know if... Ow, there it is. Um, if we need <laughs> the romance or the friendship more to win, but we can find out. All right. Ah, it's got death row. That's all the same day, I think. Oh no. Oh yes. Um. Oh no. House met Udon. Is this what I think it is? Yes. Okay. So when do we meet? We need to make sure we meet Weirdo. Ruby. <laughs> Stay quiet. Oh. We'll be good. Thank the request. And then be honest. Sweet. Hi, Cass. Oh. I bite back a sigh and narrow my eyes at the infuriatingly grinning demon. What do you want? Can I be honest? Can you? He, of course, ignores my jab. I'm hitting a wall with my research, so I'm looking for a distraction. And here you are. Wrong button. Glad to know I can be of assistance. Now can you please leave me alone? 
<laughs> Come now, don't be such a f little fuddy duddy. We had a bit of a rough introduction, but I'll have you know I'm pretty great at all this stuff. Right. All this stuff isn't the greatest boost of confidence. Yeah, yeah, details. <laughs> it's not the first time I've had such an unconventional team up anyway. Is is he talking about Finnan? Is he is he talking about get, getting with Finnan? Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Maybe this can be a learning experience for you too. If I narrow my eyes any further, they would be closed. Thoughts and distrust race through my head. On one hand, Cassius is a demon, a self-serving, sinful creature, an angel's natural enemy, if you will. To accept help from him would be going against so many of our values. I might as well commit treason against heaven. On the other hand, I have no idea what I'm doing. The technical part aside, this research hall is a completely new domain. Even though I've gotten permission, I don't want to make a complete disaster here and risk getting killed. A lot to do. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Huh. 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 <gasps> there is an ending here. <laughs> We're gonna get a new ending. What's up? Alright, let me let me go on a new one. Let's go here. Just to confuse things. <gasps> We're gonna get a new ending! Here you go! Take it! <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? We know that's a device that can absorb and shoot the souls of, of living entities. We know that. We know it's full of souls. It's locked and loaded. Burlis doesn't know that. Cass probably does. Swallowing dryly, I look between the grinning demon and my clipboard, which is still very helpfully displaying a series of question marks. I think about the terrifying experience of seeing death- well, how 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 much how bad is this gonna go? Okay, he doesn't hate us proactively. Not that that's saying much. I think about the terrifying experience of seeing Deathrell for the first time, of Axon's distrustful glare, of Cassius's easy willingness to kill someone. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. I would do anything to get home soon, and if that means working with a literal demon then so be it fine excellent nugget. so what are you working on nugget on my journey here my devices were damaged oh reluctantly i show cassius the clipboard and the navigator you think the journey itself, or the magic that initiated the journey, did it? One second. I'm putting a marker, so I know that this is where something happened. <laughs> there we go. I... well, I think it's a mix of both. I've never... this is my first uh, journey from home, so I wasn't really prepared when the magic gets off. I might have flailed a little. To my surprise, Cassius doesn't immediately tease me for it. Hmm, that'd do it. Do you know the nature of the travel spell? I'm quite sure it uses some alchemical reactions. <laughs> oh. Hmm? That's strange. It, it is? You really don't know much about this, do you? If I did, I wouldn't have to ask for your help now, would I? Chill. The travel spell can be done by using an alchemical reaction in combination with your navigation device. It would trigger a phenomenon which we call a gate. Gateway! Hey! <laughs> the timing to chill. Chef's kiss. Good, good shit. Gateway! However, your navigator's quality isn't that great. The magic must have pushed it to overdrive. But this is... 
I was told this is the best model given out to my station. Ah, the hubris. Uh, huh? If your superiors truly thought that this device could take you to even a connected realm, then I'm surprised your heaven hasn't been eradicated yet. You dare... Oh, can it. You want to fix this, right? I... yes. Oh, is this the ending where we we have done this? This this is the one we have done, I think. I think we have done this. We've just we're just doing it a lot earlier. Nug Nugget. Yeah. All right. That's weird. That's just another route to it. We, I believe. Oh, hang on. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> we. Oh shit! I didn't get to speak to Deathrow much during the months. She didn't seem to care, which was, well, fair. I am an intruder. I have no business being here. Okay. Yeah, so this is just where we, um, research the thing, we make it back to Angel Land, and then we get murdered by angels. Yay! Alright, um... Alright, so... Hmm... Wait, so if we... First of all, that turns him on. Which I'm gonna skip over because we're probably gonna have to do that at some point. Um, we need to make sure we meet Ruby. I don't think we're going to meet Ruby. Hmm. Alright. So we have to... Interfere on day 13. Is what we need to do. We, which is fine. It's not too far back. Never mind. Um. <laughs> uh. Where did we save? There. Right. That's fine. Anyway, it's a lounge. Scooby doo doo bop. Listen. Scooby doo bee bee. Boo doo bop. Uh. Agree. Scooby doo bee bop. Uh. Uh. That is a very good question, Death Row. <laughs> uh, yes. Whee! Right, we're all good. Um. Da da da. Uh. Then we want throne room. Or lounge, lounge, right? Lounge, stay. Do we stay? Should I stay or should I go? Stay. Full of memory. We must respect the queen. We respect you. You are queen. Ow. Uh, right. Thirteen. So we do need to interfere. All right. Saws. Don't kill anybody. That is so rude. Be honest. All right, good. That's what we needed. Uh, It 
It's a rogue ruby. All right. Uh, ruby. Uh -huh. Apparently this doesn't matter anyway. Hopefully. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're alive. We did it. We're not dead. Yay. We got past the hard bit. Weirdly, that's the hard bit. Because if you don't meet Ito, you don't meet Ruby. You die. I'm gonna stay silent. Fuck you. Here's all the information, except the one that matters. Uh, sure. Let's... Unlock it. Yeah, let's unlock it. Yeah, I think because we did things in a slightly different way, like very slightly different way this time, hopefully, hopefully, we've got it. You know what I mean? Fingies, fingies crossed. I do I? We do want to know. Uh, throne room. All right, let's do the saves again, just in case. So this is save three. It says to save, so let's do that. Throne room. Throne room. Um. Yeah. Bring up what happened. Been and got murked. It was kind of crazy. Thank Detheral. Finnan's dead. I think. Which is fine. We're, we're so casual about him dying now. Was, <laughs> he deserve. Uh, they deserve, sorry. Uh, bring up what happened. Uh... Academic memory. Uh, day 21 is the next important one. Okay. Is this day 21? Day 21. Alright, but. Wee! Save four. Okay. Uh. Hall of Memory. Proceed. Hmm. Okay, so either of those put her romance up. Fourteen, thirteen. Fifteen, thirteen. Let's just double check. Fifteen, thirteen. Yeah. I'll try. The lounge, then. Doesn't seem to matter too much. Uh, feelings. Losing grace. Yeah, we'll at least try and begin Cass's um, playthrough after this as well. So we're not just doing speedruns. Maybe? Yes. Right, where is save five? There. 
Okay. Uh, stay and listen. Alright, hopefully, hopefully, something will be a little bit different. Ah! Fucking hell. Fucking hell, Cassius. Right, this is where we're at. So now we can save over this again, but I'm going to do it here instead, just to be safe and confuse things more. I do anything for your love, anything. Research hall. So if we don't get anything new here, I don't know. Basically. Oh, no. Fuck. Well, I will have to double check that then. So I'm trying to think, yeah, this is where the new um, update will be useful. If that, that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else we can do. Actually, out of curiosity, were our stats any different at the end of that? This is the question. Sixteen twelve. It's lower. It's way lower. Interesting. I don't even know then. Because on the other... On this one... In the research hall... We're at a higher romance! <laughs> I don't even know how! Okay, okay. Um, are there any of these we haven't done? I'm curious. Is greater than 16 romance end? If it's not greater than 16, romance good end. So she can love us too much? So let's try out of curiosity. I think we've done this one as well though. I don't know. Can we find Ito? Yar. We're at 2014. That's the highest it can be, right? I think. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new here. That's the same! Didn't they say something about if it's 19? <laughs> and Hmm.
Just gonna try a couple more variations, <laughs> and then we will leave it there. What if we do that? Do them the other way around. It's probably no different, is it? 1813? It's not quite 1913, is it? Ah. <laughs> the speediest of speeds. Alright. Yeah, that's 18. Is there is there an outcome where we can get 19? 17. 18. 18. I forgot what I chose here is the problem. I think I chose anything. So if we do 18... Then research hall. Seventeen. Shit. Hmm. Oops. I am not sure. some more research. I will ask the experts. <laughs> Gotta remember all the endings we did get. But I, I have I have a feeling. Because I know we got a good end. I know we got the romance end, which is what we keep seeing. It says it's a romance good end. We got the archangel end. Got the other end got many ends but never mind all that 20 oh that's also 26 that's all the same decision okay so did I save at a smarter point I don't think I did do, 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 do. so Let's go. Let's go back from the beginning again. <laughs> as silly as that seems. Alright. Understand? Should we be Saijima? Oops, I don't know why I said. Should we stick? Oh, we'll stick with Velas this time, I think. Dance, dance, dance. Um, right. We're just gonna do- this is gonna be the Winget playthrough. Do you get it? Because we're an angel. <gasps> so, we're gonna... We're gonna wing it. Um, we'll do, again, any dialogue- any important dialogue once we get to the Yonder. Um, miss out any descriptions. Skip over scenes if we don't need to redo them. Um, and let's see if we can- Romance Cassius. Let's see how we do with that. If we do any better. Or worse, indeed. Um, I'm gonna go the route we originally did to begin with. We're gonna get the compass. Or lie. Because otherwise we can't even get into the Yonder. Um, I'll speak truthfully. Sure. It's, it's natural, I guess. No, I mean, I was raised with manners, and uh, everyone where I am from is polite and helpful. Besides, it's best to be courteous when you're in, uh, when you're a guest in someone's home. I suppose you are right. Hmm. Many, many, many descriptions. It's so pretty. Our things are broken. Let us return to the matter at hand. Ah, 
of course. You have not given me a working time period during which you are to conduct your business yet. And, for those who missed it because I forgot to do this recap today, Welcome to the Underworld! We play Velus, this small little angel over here on the left. We uh, are a scribe working in heaven, and uh, one day we bonk into a alchemical cabinet accidentally, and somehow end up in this weird realm with a cool darkness tendril lady, and it's eternal moonlight and stuff. Um, and our goal is to survive, maybe do some romance on the way, all of that good stuff. I, uh, I'm in it. I play this lovely lady, Detheral, who we've been trying to romance with varying levels of success. And now we're going to romance somebody else. That's what you missed last time on Yonder World. <laughs> and we're pretending to interview her in order to not get murdered by her, maybe. Hopefully. Ah! As you are an obviously incredible being, being my reports must be detailed. I fear it would take more than just a few afternoons. Is that so? I indeed, great death Rail. No need to tack on a title for me. The first thing you must know about this place is that the concept of time is a little different here. How so? Hmm. Then star nor sun shall waken, nor any change of light, nor sound of waters shaken, nor any sound or sight, nor wintry leaves nor vernal, nor days nor things diurnal, only the sleep eternal in an eternal night. I was thinking that as well in the last ending and she was talking about how um, the sky will go red or the, the moon will go red and all the stars will be destroyed for, for the void thing to loop. When they talk about the stars dying, do they mean us? Do they mean a celestial? Celeste kind of linking to stars heavily. Does 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 Finnan have to get you for the thing to work? I don't I don't know. Algernon Charles Swinburne, the Garden of Proserpine. Mm. Much thinking. You are well versed. Interesting, indeed. Uh, you seem quite well read yourself. I do have a lot of free time on my hands. I, I see. What are your, your favorite genres? Hmm, I would say fiction, but that would be too broad. <laughs> After all, most writings are fictional these days. Huh? Do not mind me. How about you, young one? I, I uh, well, <laughs> I enjoy fiction too, especially fantasy fiction. I know that's a bit strange coming fr fr from an angel, but I've always found it easy to immerse myself in uh, d depictions of other worlds, espe especially those that are, well, imaginative. You are quite a strange little angel, are you not? Well, I... I've always enjoyed reading since I was formed, since I was a child. I, I uh, unlike the mortal societies, we aren't afforded many luxuries. Uh, luxuries perhaps isn't the best word for it. Uh, it's difficult to explain, but... Duty to the heavens is first and foremost. And the time allotted to you is to serve your creator devotedly. You... You know? Oh, child. You are not the first angel I have encountered. And your heaven is certainly not the only one out there. <gasps> My mouth goes dry. 
My strained impulse control can't stop my wings from twitching this time. What does she mean there are other heavens? Is this... This isn't something like the mortals often fantasize and theorize about, right? What is it? The multiverse? Uh, of course. So sorry, I I'm not experienced with all of this. It's quite alright. It does make me wonder why your superior decided to send you instead of someone else more experienced. Well... Regardless, you are here now and it would be a hassle to stand for a replacement now. Serious, I I'm definitely not reading erotic novels or anything. Oh, she for sure is. For sure. <laughs> big, big nerve, big nerve, horny vibe. Mm -hmm. This, this whole, this whole yonder is the land of scarousal. Everything is frightened, but everything is sexy. That's a very difficult place for such a, such a sweet little angel to end up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, very very much the vibe, very much the vibe. Just, I got I gotta conform to God's graces, and everyone's like, "Come on, come to the dark side. We have erotic literature, you know." <laughs> it, indeed, I, I it's just a bit uh strange traveling with such a great distance. I, I promise I'll gather my bearings soon. Do take your time. We have much to talk about, after all. Uh, uh, the clipboard is broken, we've been here two days. Dun dun dun! Time works differently in the old days. What seems to be the problem? Uh, nothing! <laughs> I, I, I'm just... Surprised by how much time has passed. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, are you growing weary? Then. Ah, uh, it it just takes a bit to uh. Ah, oh, pardon me. Maybe I am. Adjust. Um. Ah, uh, the Onda is quite a different place from where you are from. I am sure. Ah. Uh, Yes, quite. I'm not... I mean, angels don't sleep, so we do spend a lot of time under the night sky as well. But it's it's quite cold here, isn't it? <sighs> mm, can be, I suppose. It, it's not that bad. Uh, oh, I, I didn't mean to Im imply it's bad in any way. So, uh, do you, do you, uh, live al al alone here? It's, it pretty, uh, big place here. <laughs> it is, is it not? I would not have phrased some of those words the way you did. I suppose I'm not alone here. Oh shit, I didn't even realize I'm doing the same pose as Death Row. I'm getting too into character. I gotta stop. I'm not into Tentacles t-shirt has demons asking a lot of questions already answered by my t-shirt. <laughs> Death Roll immediately like you, because the first thing we know about Death Roll, before even her name, Darkness Tendrils. Not quite Tentacles, but not dissimilar. Not dissimilar. We know she got them. We know she got them. That's why I auditioned for her. <laughs> check, check out Yonder World, now available. <laughs> Do you like tentacles? Do you like being impaled by demons and scarousal? Check it out right now. Also, I'm in it, and it's crazy. And Contraption is in it, and it's written by very talented people, and it's a very amazing project. Sometimes you don't know how things are going to turn out, but this is really great, and I love this game. I, we've literally spent, like, oops, nope, wrong one. We literally spent like 30 hours just trying to romance Death Row. Like, we have an issue. But this time we're gonna romance Contraption's character, who we've, I think, mutually killed quite a few times. 
<laughs> in this um, so far. Just trying to romance Sethril, he just, you know, he just gets in the way. Uh, so we had to do away with him. And he also, you know, ripped our head off a couple times, but we don't, we don't talk about that. Um, I suppose I'm not alone here. Right. There are more people here. Uh, let's ask. Who are these people we're probably romancing? Uh, it, if it's not presumptuous of me, would I be able to, uh, uh interview them? For, for extra information, of course, it's, it's good to have several sources. Vying for a little extra credit, I see. I, I, I don't mean to overstep my bounds. I, no need to be so jumpy. <sighs> I suppose if they are amenable, then you may speak with them. But the decision would not be mine. You must gain permission yourself. Uh, oh, right, understood. Thank you. I have not done anything. Ah ha ha. Well, <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, so, so you said you have uh, met other angels before? Did they, did they come see you? Hmm. Like you? Uh, I, yes. I can safely say I have never had something as strange as an interview imposed upon me on such short notice before. Uh, I'm sorry. But none of them has ever sought me out. Not like you. <laughs> Tell me, how did your superior hear about me? I... I... I don't... I don't... No. You do not know? I don't... I... I suppose you are too low-ranked to be allowed such knowledge. I am... I... Uh, I was sent... To, I started the job with the base... Ba basic instructions. I, I don't think. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not qualified to handle some of the. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm well read and all, but uh, I, I'm too young and. Uh, keep digging the hole. I, I wanted this job all my life, but but the moment I got it, they didn't send me to. They didn't. Pick me to just... to get rid of me, right? Hmm. No, why would you think that? I... I... I, I don't know. I read the guides and everything, but I... It... What you wanted did not turn out to be what you imagined it would be. <sighs> yes. I'm... I'm sorry. That was... very... unprofessional of me. Would I be correct to assume this is your first? Uh... yes. Are you familiar with interviews at all? Well, I... I read them every once in a while. Our number has been increasing since the, um... In the olden days, and interviews can be one of the better methods to preserve history. Though I must confess, I don't read them that often. Or essays, for that matter. <laughs> Too boring? Well, I, I find them biased sometimes. N not to call any of my superiors biased. <laughs> It is not wrong to have an opinion. Uh, I suppose. Do, do you... Perhaps... I, I mean... 
You have heard of us, right? Do you know who I am? I, I mean, the, the angels T to my world, my heaven. I am aware of you. Y you must be aware of our world and the buried customs and other realms that are tied to it, then. Do you perhaps... What do you think about our, our mortal realm? The mortal realm often serves as a tether to other unworldly planes. Sometimes it does not necessarily have to be so. Huh? How should I put this? Would you say, if the mortal world tied to your heaven disappeared, your heaven would too? Huh? I... W wouldn't... I... I... It... It's... I... I've never thought of something like that. Of course not. <laughs> it is a scary prospect, is it not? Even... It's... It's not a reality that... That... We need to consider. Interesting choice of words. Reality is subjective. Little angel. I don't... I don't follow. <laughs> Have patience. But I do suppose this will take quite a while. You said you enjoy reading, yes? I... Hmm. Sorry about that. Ugh. Ugh, indeed. What? We are... We fell asleep. We passed out. Uh-oh. Did I... Have I... Returned home? Please. Please tell me I'm home. Ugh. <sighs> It's a big room. We in bed. Oh, come on, come on! Are these... Are these all sealed shut? Come on, someone... Someone, please! Help me! Why did I have to be so careless? Oops. Where? Mr. Lang. No way. Go back. I hope she wasn't annoyed by that. But if she was, I'd have been dead now, wouldn't I? <sighs> we are becoming mortal. It is day three. What am I gonna do now? We'll go outside. That, that's... That's a good plan, right? <laughs> oh my god. You gotta stop slamming the door on her, man. <laughs> you know, what you see is not going to change, no matter how much you insist on abusing that poor, innocent door. I... Sorry. No need. I trust you have had quite the rest, yes? Rest? I... I guess? So sorry, I, I rested? You have. <laughs> you are quite young, even by angelical standards, are you not? I... I... Yes? 
yeah, yes, I, I am. I see. This is your first ever excursion from home, then. Uh, yes. <laughs> You're going to have to get used to some more changes, I dare say. Uh, I am? We're gonna become mortal, but very slowly. What kind of changes are you talking about? What is going to happen to me? I... <gasps> hmm? What is this? Shandu. Forgive me, I did not realize you have a guest, Shandu. It is fine. Welcome back, Aksan. Thank you, Shandu. <gasps> She's pretty. She's coming over here. Um. Such oh. a cute, helpless little thing. Oh. You are far away from home, aren't you? You, you know where I'm from. You sure do. Would Would you please tell me how? Why would I? Angels only ever bring trouble. What What are you talking about? Acting coy, aren't we? Uh, I... Ooh, what does she have against angels? Ooh, the plot thicken. As compensation for my earlier than expected return, I have with me a few tributes. Oh? Impeccable taste, as always. I'm glad that they are to your liking. Wait. You... Live here? Excuse me? S sorry, but you said you came back? How do you- I mean, you can do this unassisted? How insolent. You would do well to shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, I believe you two have not been properly introduced. What gave you that idea, Death Row? What gave you that idea? <laughs> Was it how well we're getting on? Velus meets Aksan, the Wandering Queen. Aksan, Velus, a journalist. Hmm? Journalist. Uh, yes, <laughs> I was sent here to, to conduct an interview on, on Gr Great Death Row. Were you? I was, I, I am, yes. An angel, hmm. Ah. Uh. Yes? This does not seem right. Well, I... It is quite unconventional, if I must say so myself. But never say that the Yonder itself is ever conventional. That has nothing to do with this. But if you allow this... to continue, then I must hold my words. Ah, Hexan. You take everything so seriously. My apologies. If you excuse me... Yeet! She seems fun. She hasn't killed us yet. She slapped us in our dreams. But, you know, for some people that they'd want that, you know? <laughs> uh... Shall we pick up where we left off last time? Um... Sh sh sure. Because although we're going to be romancing someone else, we still... I don't want to piss her off. Right. Sh sure. Ah. Uh, sorry, I, I think a lot slipped my memory towards the end of our conversation last... Uh, time. Ah, uh, that is true. You did pass out. Yes. <sighs> hmm. Is something wrong? I just trying to figure out where we left off. <laughs> I should, I mean, that was quite the abrupt end of our conversation. It it was. Y yes, I I don't I don't tend to forget things. <laughs> Perfect memory. Yes. 
Yes. We did not speak of anything important, if that is what you are wondering. Oh, that is a uh, relief then. We spoke much about literature, though. I remember something about Charlie Bone. Ah, uh, it, I know they're children's books, so... No need to be embarrassed. As long as you enjoy what you read, who is to say your taste is poor? You... You don't judge? I do not judge. Why should I? I, well, my caretaker said those books serve no purpose. Who are they to judge? Huh, that they are my superiors. Indeed. Of course. Well then, if you will indulge me, tell me a little more about this Charlie Bone of yours. Why she gotta say it like why I gotta say it like that? She ain't gotta say it like that. It's me saying it like that. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, of course. Charlie Bowen. I wake up feeling refreshed. That was kind of weird, but we're making friends. We're gonna go do things, see if we can find some tasks to make us feel like we're not being stupid. Depression is very easy to fall into. This isn't a time to let any distractions stray from your goal. Think, fellas, think. Could she have used the door as a portal to leave? The question is how to get it to work. Well, I'm not gonna find in about anything of that sitting here doing nothing. Much better. Now let's see. Oh, I'm not gonna have to drink eventually, am I? Pardon me. <laughs> not sure how these are gonna help me, but they can be of use. I guess you aren't gonna fix my clipboard. <laughs> Just some tape. No time like the present. Hello, Lady Deathrow. I. Huh? Mm. Uh, I. I di didn't realize you, you have guests. I'll, I'll be leaving now. Whoa. Without prompting, the half snake, half man creature lunges past me. Hey, watch it! Wait, that. that's. Oh, bye, Udon. My room. Wait, who was that? Apologies for Udon's behavior. He is rather shy. Udon? I isn't that a type of noodle? The one who named him has a rather crude sense of humor. Oh, right. Uh, I see. He another guest? Not exactly. Are you here today to conduct our interview? Yes, that that would be it. Then I must apologize again. My schedule is rather packed today. Ah, uh, of course. That should be expected. Someone so powerful must be rather busy. My arrival was abrupt to say the least, and I said I wouldn't read these bits. All right, bye. Huh? Where did Udon go? You know what? Knowing, knowing Nay, knowing Nay might well be. We'll have to ask her next time she's in. <laughs> I, I would not be surprised. They, they, they do. They, we, we have, we have shared some memes about this game between us. It would not surprise me if it was. I don't know though. I don't think we haven't really met. Udon. We don't know what Udon's deal is. Maybe maybe there's just a canon Nay that's in here somewhere. <laughs> or Angie that's in here. It could well be, but we don't know. There is there are still members of the of the void we haven't met yet, to my knowledge. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. 
It's been tricky here. Was that a meta joke about the snake man? All right, we still have our strange device. Hmm. See, the question is, we did have the option to give that to Cassius the last time we did something. Now, whether it's a good idea to give it to him, I don't know. And we haven't met him yet. So let's do a save. I'm going to do this on the second. Well, that seems to be the same decision. I'm going to save it here. Because I do want to do this naturally before we go fully walk through speeding. Little angel. Ah, the angel is here. Uh, hello, Haksan. Hmm. Interesting. Both my visitors are here. How delightful. Certainly livens things up around here, indeed. Hmm. Shandu. I'm afraid I must impose upon your hospitality for a while. <gasps> oh? A new project? Yes. I believe this is something you might take an interest in as well. It is one of those, hmm? Is it an, is an investment, it is? Not at the moment, no. This will take some time, though. And time is what the Yonder has in abundance. Hmm. <laughs> as long as that hellion keeps away from my work. Surely, he's not that bad. He's an imp, that's what he is. <laughs> oh, oh, this is this time's bay. I might have to leave in a week's time for some additional materials, though. Ah, uh, uh, I'm scared of her. I'm scared of her. I'm, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Adding them to my collection, wrong voice. I'm glad they pro proved to be of use. I shall be in my room or the lab should you need me. Whoosh, Swish whoosh. She seems agitated. She doesn't like me. It takes time to gain one's trust. I... I don't... I don't think trust is the right word. I know... I know I didn't come off great to her when we first met. But I... I am not here for her. Ah, not to sound rude or anything, but, but, hmm. For a report, you do not choose your words carefully at all. I... I'm new here. I guess the... Oh, we haven't chosen this yet. Ooh. I guess the lack of experience just shows. I suppose it does. I feel as though I'm supposed to be offended by your superior's lack of respect. I, I I'm sure th they don't don't mean any d disrespect. Of course, it's me that just randomly dropped in here, but I can't just say that. Indeed, I'm sure they did not. Was that sarcasm? That was sarcasm, wasn't it? I I'm sorry that I will try to... I'll try to be more prepared the next time we speak. Let's see that you do. Ooh. Ooh, we've not heard her that, like, particularly angry. Holy shit. Oh, no. Tommy Wumble. Huh? Interesting. Oh my. Seems I should have sent you along with the Wandering Queen after all. What was that? Hmm. You do not know what that sensation is? I... I... don't. 
w what's happening to me? It is nothing dangerous. <laughs> Though it can be. It, it can be? <laughs> you might. What? I don't want one. I. You. I. What? Uh. Oh no. It's happening again. At least the carpet is soft where I fall. Ugh. It's so hard not to swoon in front of death row. That's all it is. Like, it's understandable. <coughs> what? <gasps> what in heavens? Uh, I... I rested. Ugh. Uh, huh? Uh, Pinky! I forgot about the pancakes. Oh. Mm. This is so good! I've never had something so good. Mm. Oh, so delicious. Wait. Am I... I... Eating? I get hungry now. I have another mortal need. Huh? The Yonder only has one door. Feed yourself in the dining room. Only one door? I guess this is my permission to use that room. Kinda like a hall pass, huh? But how would I get there if there is only one door? I guess I'm gonna have to visualize or think about where I wanna go, huh? I wonder if there's a room that can help me with a clipboard. Dun 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 dun! Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to play as if we don't know what happens with these different choices we make. I'm trying to play as 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 vanilla as can, with some of the knowledge that we have from the other routes, of course. Um. We are hungry, but everything is a bit overwhelming. Maybe we should just stay, think for a bit. I don't know if that would do anything though. But I don't feel like seeing anyone right now. I can't just run out there without a plan. I don't even, I'm gonna save actually real quick. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I don't even know what I can or can't say to Death Row. Writing something down is a good start. I can put it on my clipboard as a guideline. Note down answers manually. That would certainly sell the lie better. I certainly don't want to run my mouth around Death Row again. While Death Row behaves cordially, I'm genuinely afraid of her. Oxan might be suspicious of me due to my blunders, but her open disdain is something I can deal with. Not Death Row. I have an ominous feeling that the moment she stops finding me amusing, she'll kill me. That's a terrible thought to entertain. Right, notes. Oops, wrong button. <gasps> no, be good, Twitch. No. Hopefully you get it back soon, Hayes. Books are definitely safe topics. Death Rowl seems well versed regarding classical literature of my realm, especially of works written by mortals. If I can get her to elaborate on what she thinks about certain books, it would certainly track the conversations longer. But I don't want to rely too much on them. As much as I would like to speak endlessly about books, there are more urgent matters right now. I need to find how many and what kind of rooms there are here. And if there's a way out of this building. This world, the yonder, can't just be a building. The darkness surrounding this place might seem bottomless and the stars might twinkle in every direction, but that can just be an illusion. Yay! Good to see you, Hes. It's good to have you. We we go in we go in Cassius. It's time. It's time. We're gonna we're gonna look up the other route. 
see if there's any more we can do with Dathoral. Um We just kept on in a in a circle of 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 sad. So uh, I will I will consult the experts and see if there's anything else. But we are currently doing a yeah we're just doing like a vanilla Cassius route. I'm not walk throwing anything. I'm not I'm not trying to presumptuously make decisions based on what we've experienced before. But we have got all of that knowledge now. Um, so we've just met Aksan and we're staying in the room to think of some questions to ask Dathara. Because that's an option and we're choosing it. It's time, the boy! Yes, doing it for you, mate. It's, we all good, we doing it. Maybe this is a pocket dimension. Or a demiplane. Either way, find out what the yonder is makes it onto my list. Maybe I'm just being presumptuous. But I have never seen Deathrow leave her throne. Can she leave the throne? Can she leave the throne room? If she simply doesn't, then that would prove to be a problem. Can't snoop around if she's always she always knows where I'm gonna go, try to go. That would be another question to ask, though I try to make it sound less crude. There is no doubt in my mind that Deathrall is anything lesser than a goddess. Preach! If I can find out what kind of goddess she is, I might be able to gauge her abilities. Am I supposed to be interviewing her? So questions about... Her... I am supposed to be interviewing her, so... Questions about her abilities wouldn't be out of bound, would they? Can we piss her off enough that she just kills us? Without? Ge general waiting to see if we're worth playing with. Clicking my tongue, I scribbled down the question. With the clipboard still not working, I probably should take some of the loose sheets with me for notes. My quill is still working, so it would be providing ink on its own. Hmm. If I run out of papers, maybe asking the ghost somewhere to refill them would be appropriate. Can't expect the yonder mistresses to refill them for me. That would be a good ploy. I still have to hold out for an appropriate amount of time to make it a believable excuse. Perhaps questions about her visitors wouldn't be too dangerous if I phrase them carefully enough. I know Alkson is here for her research, or so she said, and Deathrail spoke about an investment. Asking if she sponsors visitors often isn't too much, is it? I note that down regardless, putting a maybe at the end. As long as I'm careful about how I'm going to ask about this topic, I should be fine. This is a good basic list. I can work with this. I spend the rest of the day sounding out the questions, trying to make them more cohesive and practicing my stutters away. I hope this will be enough, at least for the next couple of days. Yeah, I think I think we've missed meeting him, but again, I don't I don't want to again kind of presume based on what we've already seen and go, well, I know on this day this person turns up here. Because then we're not, like, playing the game, are we? We're doing the walkthrough bits, which we've done before and we will do if we want to get some different endings, but we're not going to we're not gonna put all of our attention into that, if you know what I mean. At least I made a list. Is everything all right? Y yes. It's just that my first couple of days here haven't been very productive. But I hope the adjustment period is over and I can get back to my task. Indeed. What is on the schedule? I glanced down at my list, pondering over the questions I've written down. Hmm. I hope this isn't me being out of bounds, but I've always seen you here in the throne room. Is that what you call this place? Uh, uh, yes? Sorry, does it have a different name? It does not have any name. You may call it what you wish. Huh? Th thank you. This is where I am in needed. And here, I shall stay. A moment stretches on. Death Row doesn't seem to want to elaborate. It were going to worry. Elaborate. I. Alright. Then, would it be okay if I ask you to, um. speak more about the Yonder? About the Yonder? Yes. Hmm. hmm. I suppose it is rather difficult to grasp. 
It is. Yes. Very well. Yonder is a realm, and yet it is not. It is neither here nor there, and not all who seek to visit may enter. Then how would one visit? Yonder accepts those who need it most, whether they know it or not. <laughs> Having arrived here, you must be in need of the Yonder in some way. I don't understand. Most do not. But being able to enter the Yonder means that one is in need of something that cannot be found anywhere else. Anywhere available to them, that is. <gasps> it's a name! Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. I hope you're doing well, Nay. Welcome in. You haven't really missed much. We've been we've been despairing to see if we could if we did in fact get the best death row romance ending or not. I'm confusion. But we'll compare notes on that another time. Right now? Right now we go we're going we we do we're doing it. We're going we're going for Cassius! Rolling, going strong. It's very good to see you, though, friend. I hope you're doing well today. But yes, we are somewhat lightly pursuing Cassius, um, trying not to meta game too hard. <laughs> Seems to recall I'm still owing me a secret. Uh -huh. It would indeed be intriguing to hear your secret, especially if it concerned best girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but I think that I can tell we've got most of the death row endings. I don't know if we've got all of the death row endings. There is still a hole in my heart, but that might just be because I love her lots and you know she's not real and stuff, and that's kind of that's kind of bullshit. Um, but we're going we're going to make a light attempt at Cassius, though I think we've already made a decision that has rendered us not meeting him. But that's okay because I'm not worried about that. We'll meet him when we meet him, and we'll act accordingly as we feel like the protagonist would. We're not going to go, well, I know on day four, he poops, and then we go to the bathroom and tell him that we saw him poop, and then we fall in love. Like, we're not going to do that. The secret is, oh no. The secret is Rubeus. Is my favorite character. Is that what it is? Don't you dare clip that out of context, either. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stream elements coming in with the... <laughs> <laughs> with, with the sandbag. Holy shit. No! No! Rubeus is not my favorite character. You can clip that with context. There you go. He is not my favorite. He was meant to help us today and he didn't. He just made it sadder. Damn it. <laughs> I also need to make a new Finn and meme. The affection mater for Deathrell is not Deathrell's affection for Velus, since Deathrell cannot feel. You broke me, Nay. You're fucking right! She hasn't got a heart! Oh my god! That is... I'm mad. I'm mad I didn't see it. Fuck you for making your game so damn immersive. <laughs> if it wasn't so immersive, maybe I'd have looked, but it's so... Ambience filled, um, so invested in the characters, didn't even cross my mind. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, by the way. All jokes aside, that is a really good thing. Oh my god. How many times now have you broke me? I'm I'm surprised you don't have a counter for how many times I've been broken by you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Thank you, Hans. Mush, mush. And hello, Scarman friends! Welcome on in! 
Victor, I've just been broken. What is going on? Welcome on in, Skyrim and friends. Hello, Zidong. I hope you're doing well. I hope that's how you say your name as well. Please let me know if not. But welcome on in, Raiders. It is very lovely to have you. Aww, thanks. Thank you for the follow. And welcome to the Yonder. This game is Yonder World Interview with the Void, which is not only a phenomenal game made in part by the wonderful Karasune who we have in chat right now. Shout outs to Karasune, boo boo boo. But I am, I'm in it. And that's crazy. I, this lady with the top hat, I play her. And we're very, we're very similar. We're both incredibly derpy. And, and silly but let us know how your stream was what were you getting up to what what, what was what was happening but yes if you haven't even been here before <laughs> if you haven't been here before <laughs> i can read hi my name's kimariki i can read um <laughs> but welcome on in my name is kimariki you can call me key variety streamer we do voice acting art games bit of everything chaos but cozy and chill all at the same time but it is very very lovely to have you let me know something that happened in the stream that you really enjoyed what was going on in skyrim stream let me know uh, yeah nays just literally dropped a massive a massive plot bomb on me and i wasn't ready for it we've spent almost 40 hours in this goddamn game trying to romance ourselves because chat because chat <laughs> i will blame chat um you were building a model kit <gasps> oh what were you building your finger is hurty i feel that i feel that i've been physical sculpting a lot more this week and my hands are a little bit messed up cool me that if it's easier for you sweet yeah if you have a pr if you have a preferred pronunciation do let me know i try to learn you're building a siren from xenoblade 2 this does not surprise me <laughs> it seems it seems you are very fond of xenoblade and i'm all here for it um 100 percent thirst and chaos yep thirst thirst christ and chaos is this game for those who haven't seen this game before this is yonder world interview with the void um if you like visual novels if you like even if you don't i think people who don't like visual visual novels would like this game um i'm not i'm not just saying that i'm not just saying that this game is legitimately very good and it's i keep forgetting a minute it's uh, hon honestly an honor uh honestly an honor um but this is this is a game this is a somewhat romantic visual novel should you wish i guess you can just go through and not romance anybody um but this is a game where you play as venus which is this little angel over to the left and we are an angel. We worked in heaven for a, like less than a day as a scribe. And then we bumped into an alchemical shelf, as you do. Bit of a klutz. And we ended up in front of a very scary lady. AKA this lady in front of us right now. And she had darkness tendrils. And we lied to her and said, yeah, we're here to do an interview. To interview you because we don't know where we are and we're scared so we're totally just gonna interview you and talk about some stuff and uh this lady death was like oh sweet cool beans let's do an interview so we're lying through our teeth as an angel because we're afraid of her and we don't want to die and we don't know where the fuck we are we're not in heaven <laughs> we're not in heaven anymore and um we are looking to romance someone we haven't met yet so that's interesting we've spent the last few episodes trying to romance once again death Aral because chat um but we are now going to romance someone else who is played by another wonderful twitch streamer who we will shout out once we meet them in the game we are scary yeah i i am in real life very scary <laughs> you can totally tell uh, it was your first time ever doing a stream like it and it was very fun. Oh, sweet. That was really good to hear. We like that. We like that big energy. Did you have like the little webcam showing what you were making and stuff? Can he yeeted himself? I saw I went back and like quickly had a look. I saw he got the ending we've gotten like six times today. Not contraception. <laughs> contraption. Contraception is when you're romancing him and he stabs you. <laughs> so it can't go any further <laughs> 
I love that though. I love that though. That's my favorite. Ah, oh, amazing, amazing. That's the best. Thank you, Hess. And what's up, baby? How are you doing, lovely? Uh, liking it, been listening because I'm doing all the things right now, but yay! Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, and big love again to Nay in the chat, who is one of the writers! And she's amazing! And I need to make her a new meme of Finnan. Because <laughs> fuck Finnan! Um, and we're probably going to find out more about Finnan this time, so I'm very excited and very scared. But yes, it's very lovely to have you. Thank you so much again for the raid, Skarm. And if you come in with Skarm, feel free to chill out, get a little... Get a little peek at the vibe, see if it's your kind of thing. Feel free to follow. We stream a lot of days and a lot of things, so got a little bit of everything to float your boat. Um, yeah. Uh, your room is kind of dim, so you think you'll have to continue it earlier on in the day next time? Fair enough. Very, very much fair enough. Who do you love more, Ruby or Finnan? Honestly? Just from from a key character perspective. Key is in like me, not like a key character perspective. I prefer Ruby because explosions ultimately not a disastrous mean evil being, you know. I, I can I can grow to appreciate why he is the way he is, right? Wait, wait. <laughs> but saying that, I love to hate Finnan because the audacity of that fucker. That's some bold shit. I I have mad respect for it. I I prefer their aesthetic. I I I don't think it's morally the good thing to do, but I appreciate their relationship with Cass. I appreciate their audacity to try and fucking kill us. I appreciate Ruby pulling that fucker out of the thin veil of reality snapping his neck on the ground and tossing him to big sister Deathrell to deal with. I appreciate that so much. It's very cool. They are both... I, I hate both of them and love both of them in their own special ways. But... It's... It's... I know, I know that. And I don't... Again, I don't appreciate them because I think their morals are good. Or that they're a good person. Or that they're, they're a stand-up member of society. If This is one thing... <laughs> this is what you should know about me, Nate. Like, <laughs> I got soft spots for the wrong people! <laughs> My favorite Yakuza character in the first game that he's in steals a child and murders a lot of people. You know? Like, he's not... <laughs> Majima's not a good person. I understand why he's not a good person, and that only makes me love him more. Not that I love Finnan. Uh, by no means. By no means. By no means. Alright. But like Kuja from Final Fantasy IX. He's done some really bad stuff. Really bad stuff. But like the vibe though. <laughs> But like, I can appreciate it. I can see the reasons. I don't think Finnan has a reason. But that's why I appreciate the audacity as a character. Finnan can go fuck himself there. Fuck, can absolutely go fuck themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Finnan, Finnan is a piece of shit. Finnan is a piece of shit. But I enjoy them as a character. If I had to in interact with them... As a person, though, we'd have issues. I would despise them. But you make it so fun to despise them. That's the problem. Ruby, Ruby, you know, I'm I'm Death Row, man. I play Death Row. I have to have a soft spot in my heart for him. That's the fucked up thing about voice acting, you know. First time I ever started playing Final Fantasy VII, I was like, you know who I think I prefer? I think I prefer Aerith, you know? 
Because, like, Aerith likes Zack, and that makes sense. <laughs> Liking Cloud doesn't make as much sense, you know? But then, but then I played Tifa in a fandom, and suddenly I'm like, wait, I can kind of understand why people like Cloud now. I'm like, god damn it. God damn it. And now I like Cloud. But I've also played the rest of the game, so I understand it's bad as well. But you know, like the voice acting has an influence on you because you're more you're more empathetic from another character's perspective. There's empathy, and then there's empathy from a character you wouldn't usually empathize as, let alone empathize with. You know. But even Deathrell hates Finnan, so you know. <laughs> Ruby's a squishy, cute baby bunny. Ooh, he. <laughs> I mean, explosive as well. I can appreciate that. You know what Ruby isn't though? My favorite character. You're just gonna edit the not out of that sentence, I feel like. <laughs> so it just sounds like I've said the opposite. And don't think I'm gonna say it. Don't think you're gonna catch me out and be like, oh, well if Key, Key says she's she doesn't like them and then says the opposite of that statement then I can just use that and clip the bit around it that says she's not saying that like no I'm on to you <laughs> got you anyway that's a romance character we haven't met yet because we're once again simping a little bit for death row because you know it happens but I I didn't come here because I need anything I <sighs> I'm sure you will figure this out eventually. Though I must admit, your arrival was the first that I was unaware of. Huh? I am? Indeed. <laughs> That's me. Well, there you go. <laughs> I, was just, I didn't want to say that when you first showed up in chat. I was like, we're playing a game with a void in it. Oh, what's up, void? I hope you're doing well today. Oh, now we just need Angie, and then we've got the door, the void, got everybody. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well today. Indeed. Seldom do I get surprised these days. Is that a good or a bad thing? That depends on what your stay will yield. Huh. Of course, to stay here, a price is required. A price? Due to the nature of your arrival, a price has yet been named. Uh, huh? But haven't I already paid the price? Isn't this why I'm turning mortal? Isn't this the price for staying in the yonder? No. Your changes are triggered purely by your abilities. Or lack thereof. Abilities? What is the price? I usually ask for payment up front. That is always a choice. But this time it might be best to wait and see how this pans out. So, who is your favorite author of all time? Uh. And for those who missed it, we are, at least for this portion, uh, skipping through the descriptions that we have already read through before. Um, because we've played this through quite a few times now, um, and enjoy it every single time. Um, so to save time until we get to the fully new content, um, we're just skipping through any of the secondary, secondary descriptions. Uh, I feel like we're gonna die, um, but we might come back to it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're skipping through any of the secondary descriptions and just reading out the dialogue. Um, so that we can save time, and when we get to new stuff, we'll read all of it out. Yeah. Um, let's go to the throne room, because we need to meet <laughs> Cassius at some point, and I'm scared of Axon, which is why we're avoiding the dining room. <sighs> Hello, Zethoral. Hello, little angel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, young reporter. How are you? Wrong voice. How are... how are you today? Same as ever. Shall we continue? We shall. 
I believe we ended with an enlightening conversation about Hector Mallow last time. We did. Though that went off topic a little. <laughs> of course, of course. You are here with a purpose, after all. I... I yes, there, there is a lot of uh, materials and questions that I, I need to fill. Are you a goddess? Hmm... Shouldn't you know? Uh, well, I, it would be more, more authentic coming from you since we, we don't have uh, much records of you in the archives. <laughs> Is that so? Mm, mm hmm. Uh, it's it's uh, been d difficult to c categorize you. Hmm. I do not think, young angel, that you can exactly categorize my being. Uh, I don't mean any offense. <laughs> of course not. You would not dare to. To make it easier for you, you may associate me with an eldritch ancient one. Uh, el eldritch? Indeed. But not quite so. Uh, power is still just a bad option. Domain! Is there a domain you rule over? I mean, uh, I know archangels and gods and goddesses often rule over a certain kind of domain and such. Is it the same for you? Indeed. In a sense, yes. Yeah. I am the lord of the door to everywhere. Nowhere is my domain, and I reign over the yonder, where nothing is found, and everything comes to rest. I see. Right. Do, 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 you, uh, do you have any duties to tend to? From time to time, yes. Yeah. You seem to hold a vast domain, and yet you're not always busy? So sorry, I, I don't mean to say you're, um... <laughs> no offense taken. Time flows differently for me. If we speak on a technicality, then I am tending to my duties all the time. Even right now, as we speak. Really? But... but you're... Here, sorry, I know the Archangels are busy all the time because of their duties. Not that I'm saying you aren't, but, but, but when they tend to their tasks, they have to be there, and... Or is it an astral projection thing? It's an astral projection thing, right? Hmm. You are quite the inquisitive creature. Sorry. You apologize a lot, too. I'm so- I mean... <laughs> I'm- there's just a lot I don't understand. <laughs> I think I still haven't gotten used to the concept of time here. Much, much less what it's like for you. Hey, what's up, y'all? For how's it going today? We are many door. Single- single many door. Of course. But it is all right, young one. No matter who or what one is, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. J.R.R. Tolkien. Thank you, I... Oh! 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 This means that Death Row is the Lord of Angie. Brr, that's awkward. Can it, can it be like a genie? Where, where I can I can wish for Angie to be the Lord of Angie. <laughs> is there anything about playing someone who's always nervous is that any lines you scrub you can play it off sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. It, it, it's easier to integrate, but... Yeah. Ooh! Flip! Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey! Yo! Here he is! The Romans!
The Roman's man this time. Yo! Shout once again for contraception. <laughs> I don't mean to take the piss, Hess. I just, I just love that. I'm gonna accidentally type if I'm not careful. Contraption! The wonderful voice actor for this man. Who could this be? And he was doing Read Wednesday yesterday, where he was playing this game and was trying to romance Death Roll, so... We we all we all trying to romance everybody. It's the abs. It's the white hair. It's the horns. It's the. It's the. Oh no! No! Stream elements. No! Get out of here! Oh. He also yeeted himself. Yeah. Oh, did he eat himself as himself? I thought he got yeeted by Deathrow in some other way. It's like there's another way you can get yoked by Deathrow. I guess that is being yoked by death row though. She gets someone else to do the dirty work for her. But yeah, it's like the whole, the whole, the whole package, you know? This is the horns, the hair, the abs, the wings, the fangs, the eyes, the stabbiness. Like I said, it's not always, I mean, I mean, oh, oh. Was playing as Vela, so he yeeted his other self. This is, this is fair. This is fair. Yo. I see you have a guest. Oh. Uh huh. It's unmistakable. The wings, the horns. Sorry. <laughs> the malicious, evil aura. Demon. Ah, it's one of those. Children. No, no, Cassius. Be nice. She is but a child. Aw, you never let me have any fun. <laughs> Can't believe you'd let a haloed hypocrite sully this place. That is not possible, Cassius. Figuratively speaking. Didn't think you'd allow a feathered freak in here. You will hold your tongue! Huh. Or what? You're gonna preach me to hell? Been there, done that, fanatic. Oh! Oh! How dare you! Oh, is the baby gonna get good old daddy to smite me? I'm so scared. Oh. You. You. Yeah, me. <laughs> is the widow baby gonna cry? <laughs> Shut up, children. Everything, ancient one, goes quiet and calm. My apologies, ancient one. I forgot my place. Sorry. What do you have for me, Cassius? Ah, here. Boom. Unfortunately, it is not as much as I had hoped. Ancient one. Some materials require further studies. I'm afraid I might have to impose upon your research hall, ancient, ancient one. Request granted. End it. We shall cut our session here, Velas. Of course. Thank you for your time. He has the goal to wink at me! How dare he? It's like he knows. I don't want to leave my room. That fuckface demon man. Fuck that guy. Fucking dick. What a goddamn tosser. Freaking wanker. Wish he would just go the fuck away. He was so mean to God. How... Dairy, ill. No one's coming for me. There is no heaven. There is no God. We hate him, but oh no, he had <laughs> just the oh no Michio meme. But oh no, he had <laughs> country exception. <laughs> exception, yes. Uh, it's all good, Hess. No, it's great. It's great. 
The abs, the horns, the wings, the ears, the abs, the hair, the clothes, the abs, the hair! The horns! Ah. The image of Death Earl's delighted sharp grin in her endless shadows. Tell me, God, are you punishing me? Is this the price I'm paying for my past mistakes? Let's go to the room! We made questions. We must ask them. Faye! Hello, Tethra. Hello, little angel. <laughs> I'm in the game. He's so real. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited for it. I'm so, so, so excited for it. <laughs> My kettle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. You seem troubled. I've, I, she's like, sometimes there is a character voice that you do and you just get really into it and you start accidentally like kind of using it in real life as well or just like starting to think as the character death or else one of them it's just such a fun voice it's such a fun voice i'm so glad i get to use it for such a cool lady you seem troubled <laughs> Scarousal. So much scarousal. I... There are just many questions unanswered. I won't deny this. The demon's appearance... bothers me. <laughs> but that doesn't change my purpose of being here. Interesting. Do not feel fear. Anger. Scarousal. I do but as you have said you do not judge you are the mistress of the yonder how i react to your guests is irrelevant my feelings are my own and, th and thus shouldn't interfere with what i do you have a good heart you are a good child <laughs> Thank you. You, I. <laughs> we haven't had much of a chance to discuss your uh, d daily duties yet. Oh, my daily routine. Y yes. Um, it's just every time I come to this room, you're here. Hmm. I'm waiting for my moon to rise. The moon? But this is not the same moon. You will understand if you stay here long enough. Flashbacks. Right. M may... Pardon me, may I ask why? I suppose there is no harm in telling you. I ate my heart so my love may survive. Upon the rising of my moon, I shall know whether my sacrifices have borne fruit or not. Hmm. Death Earl, I... Do not mourn for me, little one. I am here as a choice. Hmm. There are many things I want to say to her, but we did them all in a different timeline and I don't want to meta game. Thank... Thank you for sharing. If it's alright, I will come back later to continue our interview. Very well. <laughs> we shouldn't be here. It's too frightening. I'm too sexy. Uh oh. <laughs> Will not interfere. 
That is against our agreement. As far as I'm concerned, there is no deal and I agreed to nothing. Hey! You! You have no authority over me. You overstep- You overstep your bounds, Cassius. You do not own this realm and you have no authority over what I do. Oh no, we're good. We're not dead. We're not dead. I thought we were dead for a second. I forgot the scene. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. See, I don't want Zethrel would want. Zethrel likes to watch. Hmm. What would Velus do? Velus would probably leave. Velus would probably leave. I'm not about to get caught in the middle of this. Whatever quarrel they have doesn't involve me, and I don't have the mental capacity to deal with this. Oh, um, let's go to the dining room. Death Row loves the drama. Hmm, figuratively. Oh, that's, no, that hurts. Stop. <laughs> no, she can, she can, but she can still love the, aw. Might as well get something to eat while I wait for this to blow over. <gasps> Is this chance to get night? Mm. What was that all about? Of course, there is no one to answer me. Right, let's see what we have to. Ah! Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Uh. You scared the feathers out of me. <laughs> hmm. Interesting way to put it. Let me let me save as well, real quick. Oh. We're accidentally going more accent than we are. I think anything else. Ooh. She brushes past me and into the kitchenette, stiletto heels muted on the soft carpet. Not wanting to get in her way, I sit down at the table. If I didn't just see the heated argument moments ago, I wouldn't have thought anything happened with how composed Oxon is. Nope. Afraid. Terrified. Nope. Scared of Oxon. Whatever happened out there isn't any of my business. If Axon doesn't start any conversation, then I wouldn't want to stumble into any unnecessary conflicts either. Oh, how eventful. <laughs> Being brave is for the other people. So Axon is leaving the Yonder. Oh! Oh, okay. It was unexpected, but she's a guest after all. She's bound to leave sooner or later. I still wonder if it's because of the outburst between her and Cassius, but that's quite frankly not my business to poke my nose into. It's already so different. Today will mark the eleventh day of the. Your condition is deteriorating. <laughs> yes, that also happens when my condition deteriorates. Oxan and Cassius. Very much arguing. Right, we have our notes and things. Sure. Uh, die, Tuan, Tuan. Who are we going to meet today? Alone. Oh no. It's the cursed music. We know it doesn't kill us now. <clears throat> She, again though, my, my, my always intuition is to not listen, because she's having a moment, you know? The, the, the mistress of the yonder is having a fucking moment to her fucking self. We shouldn't be interrupting that. It's a bit rude. A bit rude to do that to her, you know? Despite the music's beauty, I shift uncomfortably in Deathral's presence. Hello, Deathral. Wait, I didn't mean to, like, interrupt her! Wait, I misread. I misread. Go back. What are the options? Listen and interrupt. Oh, I'm not interrupting. Nah, fuck that. I'm not interrupting it. Jesus. That would be so mean. Memories all alone in a corridor that the rose and I trust you had a good rest. I did, yes. That was a beautiful song. Oh my god. What? What? That's a new one? What is... What is... Oh, is it... Really? Really? 
Really? Ri wait, what? I... Are you okay, Twitch? Twitch, the fuck? No, I must know. I must know. Am I missing something? I don't even know. I will look that up later. I d <sighs> How about you get like the actual racism and the homophobia and transphobia to it? Just a suggestion, you know. I... Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I don't even know. Sorry about that, Nay. I don't- I don't even know! <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking asinine, if you ask me. That was a beautiful song! Does it have a name? Yeah, it's called Fucking Asinine, Perhaps if you ask me. It did once upon a time, but... <laughs> the name is now lost to time. I should do, like, a spooky effect when it's me talking in the game, and then we can have, like, a weird layered effect going on. Perhaps. Perhaps. It did, did once, once upon, upon a time. time. <sighs> the name is now lost to time. To time. Oh. You know, some fucked up shit like that? No, no. Twitch, let me curse like I say on stream, but sense your pedal, right? <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Indeed. Time moves on and on, heedless of the memories it buries. True death is when the memory of someone or something is utterly forgotten. Would you agree? I... Sure. Yes, I'd say so. Everything is sad. Terrible, is it not? Death. A fate to be holden by all. To all. Or at least most. I suppose when you reach a certain height of power, the rules would be different? Hmm. Perhaps so. Do you desire such powers, young angel? Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. I... I'm not sure. Oh? Not sure? Yes. I mean, I can see both merits and the more uh, unsavory parts of having powers. Unsavory? I... Yes, no, I... I don't know, I... Uh, 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 I glanced down at my list, chewing on my lower lip nervously. Oh, that's cute that we have it as a backup. So do I I death her out real, real quick. Um do you do you like jazz? Do you like jazz? Um, God wants to know. Jesus Christ wants to know if you like if you like jazz. Okay, question two. Um Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Don't kill me! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, lady. Lady does real, real quick. One more question. Okay. okay. Um. Um. The angels want to know, um, do you, <laughs> does that hat ever c come off or not? I know I'm so sorry, I don't mean to cause offense, they, they just really want to know if it's gonna ever come off. <laughs> I'm just the messenger, please don't do this to me. God wants to know if I like pineapple on pizza. Oh god, don't kill me! <laughs> and strawberries on pasta, right? Yay or nay? Come on, Death Row, give us the answers we need. 
This is technically a 20 year old something, just got yeeted to an unknown place after living in an arguably sheltered environment her entire life. She's confused and scared. Yeah, we're here for that. We're here for that. <laughs> I do love the difference between them though, because now she's just holding the paper up in front of Death Rattle's face so she can't scare her anymore. But she. <laughs> Usual dead ass just come in here and be like, okay, the c c question four on my list, which which is your favorite Muppet and why? Oh god, and just like just not being able to handle it. And Death I was like, I mean, I like Elmo because Elmo doesn't like Rocco. Rocco seems like a bit of a dick. It's like. Yeah, that's a really good call, Lady Deathrell. Oh my god. I just, like, I feel like I've insulted your intelligence by asking. And Deathrell's there just like... So, if your mortal realm gets exploded, does your heaven die with it? Just, uh, I don't... I don't... I mean, why would I even think about that? That seems like a really existential thing to believe in or not. I guess it probably would, though. I don't want to think about that, though. Okay, question five. Cats are dogs. <laughs> Difference. It was so, it's adorable. I ship it. I ship it. If I can't see it, it can't hurt me. <laughs> it's my cat's reaction to a loud car. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> do, do, do you like jazz death or owl? Oh, I mean, that can't be a prediction. We aren't. Do we know? Does Nay have the canon answer for this? I'm the scat man. Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> Nay, the truth come out. Does Death Row like jazz canonically? Yes or no? Uh, no worries, Skarm. I'm afraid I can't do that. But. But. We are saving all of the VODs for this series. And uploading them to YouTube eventually, so you can check out both platforms. If you don't want to miss out. Ha <laughs> And there have been so many jokes. Even more. I'm, it's, I'm basically giving you extra jokes. Or, alternatively, you can go to Steam or Itch.io right now and get a free trial of the game. Or buy it. Support the wonderful Nay in chat. Support the wonderful fluttering abyss devs. Whoa, kablow. And you can not only relive the jokes we've experienced here together as a community, but you can forge your new ones. Tag fluttering abyss in all of your yonder world memes. <laughs> Tell them how much Rubeus isn't my favorite character, please. <laughs> But yeah, do you guys support them? <laughs> oh my god, Moki, no! Moki, no! The bad timing! No, it's not about me right now! It's about Fluttering Abyss! <laughs> I have been foiled. I have a tendency to do that, I'm sorry. I play the Mistress of the Yonder. It wouldn't be on brand. You know, it wouldn't be on brand. If, if I didn't... But honestly, do support this game, because, again, this is a visual novel. We have over 30 hours in it, and we are not even a third of the way through the roots. Like, if that doesn't tell you how much bang for your buck you get, and this isn't a game that's like, oh, this is a bad ending. Um, you you fall over into a well and you die, and it's kind of lame. Like, this is a game where even the bad endings are phenomenal as fuck, and aesthetic and cinematic and very impressive. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend. So there you go. I'm not a sundry for roommate, no. No. I'm like an unwilling babysitter. And in another life, I was a sister figure to him. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> maybe, maybe Key will come back in the next game. Ooh, I, I'm, look. Deadass. Always down to record more Death Row. Always down to record more Death Row. Just m more, more Death Row. All of the Death Row. I'm not biased at all. More of the more of the friends. More of the friend fiends. <gasps> the fiend friends. That's us. Yay. Um 
Uh, like AI? Or Al? I a trip for a whole hour that gets progressively weirder and weirder. Oh, that that happens, yeah. That that'll happen. I love games like that. As long as it works. I mean, yeah, nonary games is the example I can think of, Zero Time Dilemma. That that game had some fucking endings. But sometimes it felt like they were just a bit weird for the sake of being a bit weird. I'm still not gonna get over the time travel pod. What happens in the time travel pod stays in the time travel pod. Uh, oh, I need to play that. Yeah, please, please no spoils. But yeah, I, I have, I have heard I might like that game, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, made by the same people as Zero Escape. There you go, there you go. I still, I still. Oh, you're all good. Um, but yeah, just like, yeah, that was some. What happens in the time travels pod stays in the time travel pod. I'm still shook about that fucking shit. None of the things in the list I've I've inspired I can't read. None of the things I've listed inspire confidence. I would like to ask more about the rooms, but I don't know that would be a good transition from the previous conversation. I press my lips together, more nerved by the silence stretching between us. There seems to be a pattern regarding time on most of what I want to know. Based on what I can tell by Death Earl's answers. I have to stay in the honor for a determined set of time in order to start making sense of everything. Or some of it. Which makes sense, but isn't doesn't bring me much comfort. Patience is a virtue, huh? Uh, other than Aksan and the D Cassius, I haven't seen much of the other guests here. Conflicting schedules. And many choose to have their visits discreet. Ah, uh, Right. Again, that leaves even more questions. How do I keep missing them then? Maybe the confusion is too clear on my face for Deathrell chuckles again. <laughs> they are all more attuned to the yonder than you are. Give it some time. Perhaps you too shall get there. Huh? R r right. I quickly scribble down this new piece of information so it seems the changes haven't stopped at turning me into a mortal after all. Heavens, what else is gonna happen to me? The yonder is busier than it usually is. I wonder if it is because of you. Because of me? But how? You are an anomaly. But I suppose that can be said for all who visit the yonder. Is that a good thing? That is not for me to decide. It is for the wrong voice, man. It is... Is it for the yonder to decide, then? That, and for the visitors themselves. <gasps> Nay! We should do a playthrough where, where we play it as a crew, but we all swap voices. So, so, can voices Death Rell as Cass, and then I voice Cass as Death Rell. Or just, we just need, we just need cast shenanigans at some point. Cast and cool shenanigans. I feel like that would be really fun. That would be crazy. That would be so silly. <laughs> <laughs> and then Axon just despairing at it all. Yes. <laughs> Nugget. Oh shit! I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Oh heck. That, and for the visitors themselves. Huh. If that is the case, then I can't say that this has been good for me. Not when there have been so many changes that I have no say in. Are we getting near to death, though? I think we are. I don't know what happens if we don't do good, though. Nightmares! We're gonna skip through nightmares. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I audition for Nugget. Yes! <laughs> Do it. You should not be here. Ah! Dween. Yes! Yes, it was, yes. The very same. The slightly more forward voice. 
I love her to bits. She's the best. She makes me cry. I love her. Oh. Throne room. Still scared of Axon. Although Axon has left. We don't know. Who could this be? We've never met this person. Since I saw Con told Conjure on his scene too, one of our next projects will be with Yonder Worlds. <gasps> I'll say this here too. One of our next projects will be Underworld's sequel and it might possibly be an RPG and he is one of the main characters. Ooh, is he romanceable? Is, is he romanceable? Or is he still in a committed relationship with the son? Because I understand. I don't want to I don't want to step on any sunny toes, but um also like <laughs> he has my email, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Aren't we the sun? <laughs> oh shit. That's exciting. Day. Yo, if there's any way I can help out, let me know. I'm I'm fully invested. I'm fully invested. I would love to help out. Even if not even if Death Row isn't there. I'm 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 hype about this. <gasps> The news come out! Excitement! That will counteract the pain of this scene even more. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, hello there. My death Deathrall, she is adorable. What's your name, little one? Ugh, I feel like I did the voice better this time than when we were downstairs. <laughs> now I'm back in the regular place. Ooh. Uh, oh! Oh! I'm Volus. Pleased to meet you. Cute. You may call me Finnan. Hello, Finnan. Oh, she's even cuter blushing like that. <laughs> Thank you. See what's going on in here? Hmm? Uh... I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Not at all. Do stay and enjoy the company. Uh, thank you. Of course. Such a sweet little bird you are. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Anyhow, where were we, Tetherell? <laughs> I can't help it! I can't help it! Ah! Your newest adventure. Is that a code word? Mm, but of course. I'm so easily distracted these days. So, they insisted that I take the offerings, and because I couldn't just possibly say no to such an earnest gesture, I blessed the streams. And the rains down in Africa. <laughs> How generous. Oh, you flatter me. So I was right. Finan is some form of celestial if they can bestow blessings. Perhaps not an angel, but maybe a deity or a fae or an asshole. Hope is renewed within me. Maybe if I can get into their good graces, they'd be able to help me. Maybe. Just maybe. Kill me. But the fact that Finnan is here in the yonder chatting so jovial- Foreshadowing, by the way. D Death Rall is slightly alarming. Is something the matter, Valis? Oh, oh! N no, nothing. <laughs> Good. You were kind of staring a bit hard at me, so just thought to ask. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stare. Forgive me. You're forgiven. How can I ever be mad at such a cute face? Huh? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, my. Here, let me help. Before I could even open my mouth to protest, the Celestial crouches down next to me, gathering up my mess. N no you, you don't have to. <laughs> Nonsense. It's my fault you dropped your stuff anyway. Besides, it wouldn't do to leave a mess before death row, would it? I... <gasps> wait! 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 Uh, no! Wait, what are you... Wait, what? Uh, what are you gonna see? Wait, is it? Cause we're in danger. We're in danger. This is not a fucking. Is it? Please tell me this is the list of questions and not the fucking, not the fucking weapon. Oh my god, is it? Then please be the questions and not the weapon. But also, if it's the weapon, I want to see what their fucking reaction is. We took your souls, bitch. Okay, we're good. We're good. False alarm. It's <laughs> like, we didn't need any more reason for Finnan to want us dead. Not that they would ever kill us or anything. That would be crazy. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, false alarm. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, do we have some of the other simpy questions on here? That's the other question. Quite a list you have here, huh? Death Row, you never said you had such a dedicated Inquisitor here. What? I I'm not an Inquisitor. I'm just, I'm, I, uh... A journalist, Finnan. I am sure you were told that. Ah, of course. That is the right word. Silly me. <laughs> Here's your stuff, little journalist. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Finnan, are you not here for something else? Ah, of course. I did not mean to waste your time. I am here to pay my due for the Hall of Memory. So it backfired. It backfired. Wait, what does that mean? Pay your due. Hmm. Hmm. We're very, very loosely trying to get Cass. <laughs> kind of like we approached Death Row the first time. We're like making as much of a beeline as we can, but still kind of trying to play in character and not metagame too hard. Um, but yeah. So we're probably not going to get him this time. We're not probably not gonna, probably not gonna get him this time, but uh, we'll see where it goes. We'll see what happens. I'm here for it. We here we here for as many endings as we can get. You know, it's not good. We're not gonna get him. For the briefest of moments, Finn and Smile falters, and there is something deeply uncomfortable in their silver eyes. I've encountered some difficulties, yes, but nothing I can't handle. I see. Hmm. If you say so. Very well. Do go on. You have my gratitudes. Nice to meet you, Velas. Maybe we can speak another time. Oh, yes. See you. I watch as Finnan sweeps out of the hall, suddenly vomiting onto the floor without understanding why. Let's go, let's go, what's going on with this motherfucker? <clears throat> Who, um, Finnan is? You wish to know about Finnan? I, yes. You can tell Finnan is a celestial. Well, yes. <laughs> it's quite difficult to mistake the glow. Indeed. Finnan is something between a minor deity and a fae by your world standard. Hmm, I suspected as much. Do they visit frequently? As often as the Yonder allows, and as often as they need the Yonder. Alright, question. When she says, as often as they need the Yonder, are we speaking specifically about a particular relationship they might or might not be in? Is Cassius... 
that lonely. <laughs> the, the yonder is like, you know what? Cassius is kind of... It's kind of been... It's been a while, you know? Cassius is a bit lonely. Aww. The door is open, you know? Cass is a side piece. Oh, Not even the main... Not even, not even the main piece. How many, how many pieces is Finn getting? I could just imagine it being like a real, like just a, just, just going to an observatory and having, having some private time, you know. <laughs> oh no, that's what it would be. <clears throat> yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Huh? So frequent then. You can say so. You... You don't like Finnan. It is simply exhausting sometimes to wait for consequences I know will happen. Oh! Oh! Huh? You will understand soon enough. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? The meta, meta key is like, wait. <laughs> is she waiting for him to is she waiting for them to try and kill us is she waiting for them to try and kill us is that the inevitable part or ah, regardless of what we do Finn is just gonna all right all right <clears throat> do you know how to play any instrument i know how to play the heart strings I ate my heart so that my love... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Huh. I, uh, well, I don't. I used to mess with the piano when I was younger, but my sector of heaven isn't involved with that form of art. More, me specifically, I'm more in tune with language. But is music not language itself? Well, if you put it that way, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to learn? Uh, learn? I I guess I wanted to, but I've never had the permit time to. Music is truly fascinating, and I, I can see myself being lost in the images the music would weave, just like I would be lost in the pages of a good book. Hmm. I will keep that in mind, then. Ah. Uh. So many questions. You seem preoccupied. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking. Oh, care to share? It, I, well, um. Oh. 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 Fumbling for a topic, I latch on to the most recent event I could think of. I'm still... Still thinking about Finnan. Oh? It's, it's just I... Finnan is a celestial, right? Hmm. Deathrell tips her head slightly, amusement dancing in her eyes. I swallow dryly, venturing forth. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, says. Finnan, um, I don't know, I, I don't think I should say this about a Celestial, but their behaviors were kind of odd. Oh, do elaborate. I, it may be a little bit silly, but I f just feel like there's something forest about Finnan. Like, th they didn't want to be here, but acting like they were excited about it. I don't know. But you do. But I don't think you are scared of Finnan. I'm fucking very scared of Finnan. I'm not. I'm... Am I? No answer comes from Death Row, but I don't expect to have one. This is something I have to decide for myself. You are rather distracted today. I... My apologies. No need. 
Take the rest of the day off. Perhaps we may continue your interview another time. Right. Thank you. With a bow, I retreat from the throne room. Another day without results. Oh, we haven't met fucking anybody. We haven't met Ito. We haven't met Ruby. <laughs> we have not met them. Oh, there's Ruby. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Ah. Oh no, not the dream slap. Ow. Oh my my, you're not ready to be here yet. This pain is just too real. There's not enough that time cannot erase. Do think Velas can sing? I feel like Velas can't sing. I'm alright with that. <sighs> it only mildly surprises me that Cassius is there. <sighs> Are you ready for this? No. But I have committed a slight, and if that is what needs to be done, then so be it. Uh, so you shall eliminate the boy for me. No. That, no. 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 No, 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 no. So you shall eliminate the boy for me? I shall. They are about to kill someone? I don't want to get killed my fucking self. Mm, great. <sighs> they so powerful. I don't want to do nothing. And now I cry. Wait. Nailed it. We're making so many friends. We're doing so good. I don't think we have enough of a relationship with Hello, ah! friend, Cry is a free action. <laughs> How are we doing? Okay. Okay. Oh it still might be the highest we've ever been friends with Cass, at least at this point. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> uh, hello, Deathrell. How are you today? Same as ever. That's... that's good. You seem on edge. Is there something on your mind? Mm -hmm. I don't... Uh, I don't mean to push any boundaries, but... Uh, I was hoping to gain access to one of your facilities. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, so sorry, me. Do continue. Oh? And what facility would that be? Your heart. Uh, the research hall, if I may. Research hall? And why would you want to go there? Uh, uh well, well, <clears throat> you see, uh, 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 I want to go home. Uh, it seems like my devices are not uh, functioning as they should here. The, the clipboard is normally has a record function, you see, and it hasn't been working as well intended. I, I think my journey here was a bit uh, bumpy, and the devices didn't react well to the conflict of energies. S some other functions don't work either. I, I was... Hoping to resolve the issues on my own, but I don't have the necessary equipment to deal with this matter. I'm just... I'm just looking to fix some of the functions. I promise I won't cause you any problems. Breathe. Uh, yes. I do not see the harm. You may utilize the research hall to your purposes. Uh, I may... Thank you. I'll try to resolve the issues quickly. <laughs> Books and shit. 
Find something interesting? Oh, I don't know, you tell me. Oh my, my, my. Nugget. I'm afraid we don't have babies for stock makers for you, Nugget. Ah. <sighs> what in heaven are you doing here? Don't you have someone to kill? <laughs> you assume that I haven't killed that someone already. What? The imp has the gall to smirk at me. Angrily, I back away but hesitate as I near the door. I just got permission to enter, and for me to return now, I don't know if Death Route would simply revoke it. I know I can't risk it if I want to get anywhere with my plan to return home. Just stay out of my way. Oh. So what are you looking to work on? Not a gingerbread house, I hope. <sighs> ah, the silent treatment, I see. What do you want? Can I be honest? Can you? <laughs> I'm hitting a wall with my research. So, I'm looking for a distraction. And here you are. Glad to know I can be of assistance. Now, can you please leave me alone? Come now, don't be such a little fuddy-duddy. We had a bit of a rough introduction. But I'll have you know I'm pretty great at all this stuff. Right. All this stuff isn't the greatest boost of confidence. Yeah, yeah, details. It's not the first time I've had such an unconventional team up anyway. I'm looking into your eyes, sir. Death around may not judge, but I certainly do. Maybe this can be a learning experience for you, too. What are we, like the same height? On one hand, Cassius is a demon, a self-serving, sinful creature. An angel's natural enemy, if you will. To accept help from one would be going against many of our values. I may as well commit treason against heaven. On the other hand, those wings, those horns, that hair. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, hey, Cassius. I'm gonna save Cassius. I don't know what I'm doing, Cassius. I'm the scared little bitch, Cassius. <laughs> that almost went kind of speech then. Start making sense, you rotten booker. You're gonna be sorry. <laughs> maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one. Well, maybe I'll throw you into the goddamn furnace. <laughs> How does such a smart bug be such a little bitch, huh? Ooh, Death Rally. Love you, Death Rally. <gasps> Wait, it's right, though, because he doesn't even fucking sing for Death Row. <gasps> oh. Ooh, Death Rally. I love you, Death Row. Come over here and give Cassius a big sloppy kiss, Death Row. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us. Here you go. This is a terrible idea. This is a really bad idea. Ooh, we're doing crimes. Ooh. We don't know what it is, though, in this world. We don't know what we just gave him. We gave him a hug. Huh? It's like it's like Peter Pan and the thimble. We're just giving him a kiss. I don't know what this is, but maybe... Maybe you'll know what to do with it. I don't know. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm being a sl <laughs> sloppy smack, yes. Pretty much. Pretty much. As desperate as I am, I don't think I can just trust a demon willy-nilly. I can't just give him my devices like this, broken as they are. What if he makes it worse? What if he completely breaks it? Look at that face. So adorable and untrustworthy. I blink, then pull the other compass out of my pocket. I'm... I'm looking to get this to work. Huh? He takes the device, frowning. Hey! Where did you get this? Uh... Huh? It, it... It... It's... One of the... Devices in the... Inventory before I took my trip. Is there something wrong with it? You truly do not know. 
I, I, I don't. There, there wasn't any instruction. I, I was gonna ask my instructor, but there wasn't, there, there wasn't time. They didn't tell you. N no. I just, I was just. Cassius meets my stuttering with a cold gaze. Then he closes his eyes and sighs. There is nothing wrong with it. Uh huh. Wait, but why wouldn't it work? No, I know it needs a conduit, but there wasn't. So I thought it can be triggered with some something else. What do you think this is? Huh? It's it's a navigation device, right? Right? It's not. It's a weapon. I'm I'm sorry. What? It's not working because it's full. What? Full? What do you mean? How? How is it full? I've ne I've never used it. I swear. Don't make holes so easily. Oh. Cassius puffs out a sigh. He tosses back the device to me, which I fumble to catch. I didn't say you used it. Uh, oh. I don't know why they decided to give this to you. Or if there's something you're not telling me. Either way, this thing is useless as it is, despite being so vile. I'd suggest you keep this away from me. Right. Sorry. Keep buying. I think we're getting on like so well. I think we're like basically dating. We're basically dating. Uh, yeah. Just what in the world have I brought with me? Judging by Cassius's reaction, it seems to be a powerful device, but dangerous and vile. Regardless of what it is, showing Cassius this, this device has been a mistake. Sure, totally. Yeah. Exactly. You fucking know. I haven't made any progress on my quest and probably have squandered the chance of having any help here. Taking a deep breath, I fight to center myself. I can't rely on the help of a demon to get home. Whatever the outcome would be, it wouldn't be right. I scold myself for the momentary weakness and set out to take stock of the research hall. If getting home the right way will take time, then... So be it. I would rather not add treason to the long list of the laws I have broken anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think this is gonna go well. I don't think it's gonna go well at all. But we're gonna find out. Where would he be? He'd probably be in the research hall. Maybe. Or maybe he'd avoid us. Or maybe we're not even going to have to worry about... <laughs> yeah. So close is gonna be sticking something inside me. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna get so close. <laughs> what was this? Did he rip some shit out of us? My god. Oh, bay. Alright, yeah, that was that was awful. Okay. <laughs> Even when... Oh, that's the quill? He just takes our quill? What kind of fucking high school bully is this? What kind of high school bully is this? So... Sorry. I guess we're in a similar position to before. Do we have to 
make sure to because I, I want to get past this first bit. This first bit seems to be the hardest bit to get through in terms of, of us personally and death. Hmm, Biggie's bully. So, do we have to do as before and meet both Ito and Ruby? For, but that wouldn't make sense because we didn't get the option to romance Cassius before. So maybe we speed run. <laughs> and make sure we get to that stage alive. Um, I'm not sure if there's any small choice we can make to save our ass. If that is a thing, please do let us know. Um, I don't know why my internet does not like like this Google link. This song's a bop though, I don't mind. Different set of requirements. Okay. Feel free to let me know what those are. <laughs> Um, I'm looking at the checking. Yes, please. Like I said, getting past day 15 always seems to be the hardest bit. The rest you can kind of figure out as you go along. But staying alive. Because <laughs> I wonder if this is where we need the wand. We gotta, we gotta see Ito. Is that it? Oh. And avoid Finnan. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's less dramatic. But it makes sense. Okay. So I think we had a save before meeting Finnan. <laughs> uh, so what day do we meet Ito? Day six. See Day six. I don't know where we got to. Um, let's go from here. So we just need to make sure. Day six. Um, I forgot what we did. I think we stayed quiet. Uh, uh, experience. Try and walk our footsteps as we did before. Here on day five. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So now we're on day six. So we need to go to the throne room. Because we stayed last time and we got the page. Ito, bye Ito. Ito, go Ito. Okay, sweet. Day seven. <laughs> Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm still scared of Alexander. so we're going throne room. The main... MVP! He really is! He for real is! Pardon me! Okay! So this is... Is this? Maybe. I think this might be Finnan Day, so I think we want to go. Yes. And I think we can meet Ito again here. Oh, so is there a route where we have. I don't. I guess if we have the notepad, though, it doesn't matter if we don't meet Finnan. We'll find out if. Future key, if you fuck up and don't know where to go, you can come back and get the note. We know that much. Dining room! Ito! Ooh, we're not we're not simping this time. 
Oh, we have something to talk about him before, though. Alright, that. We're a touchy nugget! Um. Being only slightly metagamey. I guess if we. I think if we watch, we might get to ask about Cassius. Never mind. Um. It's so hard to be not a simp for her. Oh, I was just passing through into my pop filter. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect to see, um, <clears throat> Oxan and, uh, Cassius's conversation, and I just, pardon me, froze. I see. Well, do not let me keep you, then. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I love you, you man. Uh, my first love. Uh, I mean, going to a, we're not meeting anyone in our bedroom, not yet, at least. Mm -hmm. The room isn't empty, though I'm not exactly surprised. Oh, let's follow the fight in here. Hello, Aksan. Hmm. Aksan seems to be finishing up with her cooking. That disappoints me a little. But I'm quickly distracted by the fact she's packing her food into containers. Oh yeah, she's leaving, isn't she? Mm. Mm. Sure! Where are you going? Takes me a moment to think of the word, and I'm quite proud of myself for remembering it. Are you... having a picnic? Aksan, obviously, isn't as thrilled. No. I'm leaving Beyonder. You are? Is everything okay? Are you okay? I... I'm fine. There are simply matters to correct. Uh, oh. Um, good luck. I hope everything will be alright for you. Mm. I thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before long, Axon finishes cleaning up and packing away your food. Elegantly, she sweeps out of the room without a second look. With a sigh, I rummage through the stalks in the kitchenette for something to eat, wondering if Oxon left because of what just happened. <gasps> the child. I'm a sad being. I'm a sad person. I'm a sad angel. I don't think God's gonna come rescue me. What we got? Alright. Not much. Alright, cool. None of you are really useful except for this weapon that's full. Oh. Oh. We still don't have the launch. But that's okay, because Kenneth can't read. I don't know. I'm a, I'm assuming. Um, I think even if he could. Um which is fine. You know. I'm more of a movie person too. Uh well, I guess if... No. Finnan. No. Finnan. Dining room. Fuck Finnan. We avoid Finnan. Ah, shit. Oh, the music. Um... Oh, I don't... Yeah, I'm not interrupting. I'm ignoring. Bye! The dining room is blessedly empty. Letting out a sigh, I drop myself into a chair. I'm not actually hungry, so I don't know what I'm doing here, but somehow it feels better than staying stuck in my assigned room. Tri tipping my head over the back of the chair, I stare up at the ceiling. Ah, <sighs> What am I doing? If I'm being completely honest, I'm not used to all this downtime. This lack of direction. Since I was young, there's always been some form of activity to fill my days. When I got older, there would be small tasks and duties to be carried out in preparations for my assigned or applied positions in heaven. It's nothing glamorous or magical like what humans would describe in their texts, but it fills me with a sense of purpose to not have the time to be alone with my own thoughts. Being lost and alone all in one is a horrible feeling. 
I have a goal, but I have no way of knowing how to proceed with it without bringing harm to myself. Of course, that could just be my paranoia talking. Dathrael hasn't even threatened me with anything yet. But there is something just very dissonant about her. Something about her that keeps me from jumping straight into the questions I have. Even if there wasn't anything off about her, there's no guarantee that she'd just answer me, either. Superior figures never like me when I ask too many questions. Well, that's not fair of me. Oh no, I press the wrong button. Oh no, I press the wrong button. Death Rail isn't my superior, and so far she has been, at the very least, cordial. She has answered several questions I have, and it's not her fault that I got myself into this situation. It's not her fault that I chose to lie. Sometimes it is tempting to lie. A lie can quickly get you out of a difficult situation. A lie can be a simple solution. Sometimes one would prefer a honeyed deception over the truth. Sometimes one would prefer to tell a lie and to save face instead of being honest. The more you lie, the easier it will come to you. But lies can accumulate, stacking upon one another like a house of cards. And when it tumbles down, because it will tumble down eventually, the weight of them shall rival that of a great mountain. Ain't that the truth? I got contacted by someone today that I haven't spoken to in over five years because they lied <laughs> to me and I was like come back to me when you want to tell the fucking truth and it's been five years and they reached out to me today and I'm like well shit all right oh shrug <laughs> I think I need to close the door on that chapter of my life but yeah shit it be, it be that way. It be that way. The sound of the door slamming closed interrupts my reminiscence. <laughs> nugget. Oh, if it isn't the nugget. Oh, come on. What's a girl gotta do to have a little peace and quiet around here? So I can mop about how much peace and quiet there is. No, no. No need to get so excited. I know I'm quite the sight to behold. Oh, get off it. Hm. Now forward. I will. <laughs> you filthy son of a bat! Obnoxiously breaks into laughter. <laughs> what kind of insult was that? <laughs> Angrily, I stand ready to storm out of the room, but the stupid demon blocks the door with a spread of his left wing. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Deathrall is having a private guest and wouldn't want to be disturbed. I glower at him, but the demon doesn't budge, meeting my glare head-on with amusement dancing in his golden eyes. You're lying. Hm, I might be. But do you want to take that chance? Does my computer want to stop being fucking weird while I'm trying to fucking play a game? Thank you! But do you want to take that chance? Oh! <laughs> what if I do, Ben? That's the thing. I haven't thought about our approach. With romancing, with romancing Cassius. This fucker's a tease. This fucker's a tease. So surely, and we're 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 most brave when we're around him as well. So yeah, maybe maybe I want to fuck around and find out. And this is the second stupid time I get a blatantly bad ending for trying to do some things. Yeah, actually. I would never take the word of a demon. Smirking, Cassius shrugs and folds his wing. With a mocking bow, he gestures grandly at the door. With a huff, I turn up my nose and go to open the door. Huh? No matter how I yank at the handle, the door doesn't budge. Huh. Told ya. 
Suddenly, I sit back down, keeping a suspicious eye on the demon as he shuffles around the kitchenette. Oh, shuffling around the kitchenette. For a moment, I thought he was going to cook. But Cassius, after several minutes of rummaging through every drawer and not even bothering to put anything back, cries out triumphantly and tosses a rather heavy hemp bag onto the table. It lands with a heavy clack, a breath, a breath width away from my fingers. Hey! Watch it! Whoops. Want some? <gasps> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, shit, I'm a basic bitch. I'm so easily bought. I stare at the offered piece of color for candy in bewilderment. You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Not wanting to back down from a clearly too smug for his own good demon, I snatch the piece of candy from his hand. Infuriatingly, the imp winks. Nugget. You're welcome. <laughs> Plopping himself down in the seat in front of me, Cassius stretches his wings and kicks his feet onto the table. Hey! You're getting dirt all over! What dirt? From your feet! Where else? Casually, he tosses a candy into his mouth, heedless of my annoyance. Nugget. Have you no, Miss Nugget? The yonder has no dust. And I'd rather get buried in angel feathers than let any dust touch me. One of the perks of being able to fly. You dreadful overgrown goat. This is highly inappropriate. <laughs> you speak as if I'm dry humping the table. You... Seems my anger amuses Cassius greatly as he throws back his head and laughs. <laughs> I often forget how you younger ones can be so funny. I'm glad you're enjoying being a prick. He waves me off easily. Not any less than your superiors, I'm sure. You dare! <laughs> easily. Ha! Come now, even you can't deny that they have a whole superiority complex thing going on. No pun intended, even though they're little more than glorified hounds for your god. Oh, that's it! Wrong voice. Oh, that's it! Ooh, argue. He, he wants it. He wants it. Let's give it to him. Do you have anything better to say rather than jeers and insults? Cassius shrugs noncommittantly. That's what I meant to do, aren't I? That takes me aback, though not in a good way. <laughs> You're just saying these things to rile me up. I won't stoop down to your level. Too late. You've already sent the insults fine. No take backs. Why do you have to be so juvenile? Aren't you supposed to be older than me? Ha! Huh. Don't you know they say age makes the heart younger? You mean a man growing old becomes a child again? What kind of dumb saying is that? Sophocles is one of the greatest tragedians of my world, you uncultured swine! <laughs> Tar's tits. The only tragedy here is this terrible wording. At least his words are remembered and celebrated. Unlike you, who only has uncouth things to spew. Now who's insulting who? <laughs> Angrily, I storm off, ignoring the stupid and rankous laughter. The door thankfully opens, letting me shut the annoying sound off behind me. Frickin' demon! Demon. <laughs> <Some> fucking demon! <laughs> she's like, she's just so mad. Goes full gremlin. This freaking demon is, is boiling my freaking greens, ma'am! <laughs> He's boiling my freaking cabbage! I don't want to fucking see me freaking. Murgurger! Murgurger! <laughs> oh, shit. I mean... Maybe he has more candy. 
And as I open the door, it is apparent that Death Row isn't alone. <gasps> oh no! <clears throat> oh, hello there. Who are you? Ew, she's cute. Let me, let me, let me fuck with her. Let me fuck with her. Leg it! Belatedly, I'm reminded that I'm probably interrupting something between Death Row and the Celestial, no less. Bowing swiftly, I managed to speak. S sorry, didn't mean to intrude. <laughs> I was just uh, passing through. <laughs> I'll be out of your hair now! Ah, by the little angel. With one last flustered bow, I turn around and open the door a little more frostily than I should have assembling in my chosen room. Sorry, Angie. To my surprise and annoyance, Cassius is here. Ah, it's you. Hmm. To my mild surprise, Cassius doesn't follow up with any jabs, but instead asks, Is the guest still there? Guest? Oh, you mean Finnan? Yeah, they're still there. Why? Fuck off. Oh. None of your business. This jerk. Despite my rising ire, I can't help but notice Cassius is being rather defensive. This is the first time since we've met that I've seen him in such a foul mood. The demon sits hunched over the dining table, wings twitching and wearing a heavy scowl instead of his usual annoying grin. Hmm. Sweet innocent Valus would probably push, even though he doesn't want that right now. I wonder what got him in such a mood. Something is obviously bothering him. Schooling my face into a more neutral expression, I take a deep breath and ask, What's troubling you? Ugh. Oh, please spare me that tone, would you? What tone? Don't play dumb with me, Angel. I'm not in the mood to deal with your sympathetic hypocrisy right now. I'm just trying to be nice, unlike you who've been such an antagonistic butthole. Huh. Seriously? Who the fuck says butthole anymore? Ugh, fine! Don't tell me stuff. Not like I care anyway. But if you didn't care, then you wouldn't have asked. Ugh. And really, I roll on my heels away from the bastard smug grin and stomp my way into the kitchenette. I don't even know why I asked. Hmm. I have some history with Finnan. History? Oh no. No, 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 no. Not that kind of history. Nugget. Where did your mind go, little nugget? I don't wanna, don't wanna hear it. <laughs> you asked. Yeah, but I didn't think you'd go straight there. There's no pleasing you, is there? I make a noise that's caught between an annoyed huff and a pained whine. <sighs> Sacred and sweet was all I saw in them. But of course, the demon has to taint that. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the phrasing, but I appreciate it. Cassius barks out a laugh. <laughs> Tainted that I did. Hey, Cassius! Let's go! <laughs> if you needed any more confirmation, if I, if I ever needed any more confirmation that have bimbo tendencies, that's the damn right there. E. On delay theater, that is what we like to call a dirt mine think same. <laughs> Be sure to go check out dirt mine think same in crime. We dirt mine, dirt mine think same all time. Big himbo vibe. We here. Check us out Mondays. Alright. Tainted that I did. No! <laughs> <laughs> I brought my food back to the table, some cookies and dried meat that admittedly didn't look all that appetizing. This can't be healthy. Does the nutrient value even affect me, or does this change only affect my self-sustainment abilities? I resist the urge to drop my head into my hands and groan. Changes aside, I still have enough dignity left to not act like a disgrace in front of a demon. Thankfully... Cassius has fallen silent, seemingly lost in his own thoughts. That is for the best. 
I don't think I can stomach anything if I have to deal with his comments and jabs while I eat. Halfway into my meal, he gets up without a word and leaves the room. Oh, that was weird. While I'm... <laughs> It's really funny in a game where, which has like some such serious topics and moments. Sometimes just like real casual about delivering a line. It's really fun. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, while I must admit that I'm curious for more context, I have my own set of problems to worry about. Though, though once again, unexpected events took the wind out of my sails. At least now I know there is a celestial guest here. Perhaps today isn't a complete waste as I thought it was. Uh, 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 exhaustion is wearing me thin. Well, that was weird. Anyway. Hmm. Sim sim. Sim sim. I need to speak to Death Rowl first before anything. Oh, you've been rejected. I'm not hungry. I'm a sim for the other lady. It only mildly surprises me that Cassius is here. Alright. Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of the seat? Are you gonna kill a person for me? We're not gonna interfere. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna save. We're gonna stay in here. We're gonna stay in here. We're gonna look at him. Our presence is known to him. But we're not gonna say any words. He can think about what he's doing. They are evil and powerful and I'm scared of them. <laughs> Hinting joke. <laughs> <laughs> Taint. Alright, murder one today? Awesome, bet. Hello, little <laughs> Hi. Make the request. Thank you. Be honest. Let me talk to the demon man. I want to talk to the demon man. Oh. Finds none. Uh, let's skip forward. Okay, nothing new here. I'm still gonna get it to him. I'm still gonna get it to him. Here's, here's a scary thing I made, Cassia. Do you want this? You want this thing? Would you like this? He does. I just gave it to him anyway. Ah, hmm. He likes being refused sometimes. Oh, you gotta, you gotta like... It's like with fishing. You gotta like... Cast it out and then go... Wee -wee 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 -wee, and then stop. And then let it out a little bit if it's tugging too hard. And then go woo -doo 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 -doo, like that. Or something. I don't know. That's just in Yakuza at least. Um isn't this where we die if we fucked up anyway, so <sighs> oh. 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 We gave him the weapon. Mr. Churchill. Oh no, Finn! Ew! Shut the fuck up. Oh, I don't have any questions. Because you're still gonna try and get me killed. You little bastard. How could you do this to me? Oh, you, you, you. Oh, you, you. Ha. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. He. Eee, new roots! New roots! Totally didn't ask for any help to do that. Thank you, Nay. 
I don't think I slept much last night. There was just this feeling of being unsettled, like everything doesn't quite fit, like everything is uncertain. Well, of course it is. Sighing, I slide off the bed and go to look out the window. If only I could fly. Pressing a hand against the glass, I let out a weak chuckle. Even if I could, I don't think I could get out there. I don't think I would be able to get very far. My chest shudders with the force of my inhale. What now? It seems by being given the key and access to the Hall of Memory, my stay here has been more solidified. Everyone who the Yonder deems worthy of staying must enter this hall, huh? It's like having a promotion, right? Is using the Hall of Memory a requirement, I wonder? Of course, the key provides no answer to my problems. Sighing, I took it back into my pocket. Deathrell never gave me a specific order to go use the Hall of Memory, but what if just giving the key is a suggestion enough? Finan certainly made it sound very important. Scratching the back of my head, I sit down on the bed, confused and dejected. Should I clarify it, or should I just go for it? To think about it, the last couple of days I haven't really been able to talk to her. It makes me anxious, makes me think that Deathrell has finally got tired of me and decided to toss me out. Deathrell has to know. Right? There's no way she doesn't know that I've lied my way here. I'm so scared. I can't believe I'm freaking out over whether to go to her room or not. But Deathrell is scary. Great, now I'm talking to myself. Ah, screw it. Smacking the bed, I stand up and storm out of the room. The moment I step through into the hall, the cold air makes all my hair stand on end, immediately cooling down my temper. What the hell am I... Yo! Ooh? Yo, Nugget. Out on a midnight stroll. Huh? Actually, it's all midnight here. Great! The last person I want to bump into! What do you want? Ouch, so cold. I pinch the bridge of my nose, feeling a headache incoming. Look, I'm really not in the mood to argue with you right now, and if you keep pushing it, I'm going to have a meltdown! Stressful day, huh? I would rather him just shut up, but Cassius isn't being rude. He just asked something, and I can't just flip out on him. Whatever. I... guess so. It's difficult to do something... anything around here. Why is that? I just... I don't know what to expect, or what's expected of me. Ah, uh, you're not used to operating without a system. I... I guess that's what it is. I mean... Death Row holds the highest powers here, but she doesn't expect anything from me, nor does she give me any order. I don't know what to expect from her. I don't know what she wants from me. The smile fades from Cassius's lips, and he gives me a contemplative look. There are no longer traces of the usual mischievousness dancing in his eyes. Everything about him seems to still as he looks at me. Then through me, lost in thought. It makes me uncomfortable, but then he shakes his head almost like a dog shaking off water from its fur. So, what brought you here? This isn't exactly a popular spot for sleepless night strolls. Now feeling a bit embarrassed as to why I'm here at this hour, whatever hour it is, I sigh, turning away from him. Cassius chuckles. Come on. I won't make fun of you. Promise. A promise from a demon, huh? But I'm too tired to be logical about this. Besides, it's nice to have someone listen to me. I was thinking that using the Hall of Memory is mandatory. 
Finan said everyone he the Yonder deems worthy of staying must come here. So, I thought I have to use it at least once. Finan said that? Oh! <gasps> I like where this is going. Yeah. About the whole mandatory thing. Don't worry about it. Her Excellency doesn't force anyone to do anything in the Yonder. Finan likes to blow things out of proportion sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry! <laughs> but you do that. So do you do that before or after the tame? <clears throat> oh. Alright. So Finan instructed you to use the hall. Huh. They were very thorough. I have to admit, the whole concept of the place still kind of bothers me. No, come. But I, I mean, aren't your own memories in there as well? Of course they are. How is he so calm? If many people are allowed into the hall and there's no limit as long as they put their own memories into the hall, you, you aren't afraid of someone, I mean, just prying into your past? Whenever they want? Memories are private. Some even say a sacred part of a being. Heaven, or my heaven at least, doesn't have anything like this hall, as far as I know. Even if we do, it would be under lock and key, a top secret property for sure, which is exactly why I haven't heard of anything like this in the first place. Don't threaten me with a good time. Ugh. I don't know why I brought up something serious with this... This imp. Nugget. Calm down, Nugget. You take everything so seriously. But this is something very important. Yeah, you're right. But we all put our memories here knowing that. So you shouldn't have any guilt viewing them at all. If you ask anyone else in the Yonder who has been given a key to a memory pillar, they would answer you the same. The trade-off is fair, so there's no need to fuss over it. You... you really don't care? Yep. You can go see a memory of mine right now and I won't have any complaints. That's... <sighs> I really was overacting, huh? I... I probably wouldn't, but... Thanks for offering. I don't know how to input my memory yet anyway. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bird outside or something. I don't know, it was crazy. For some reason, Cassius has gone oddly quiet. Stranger still, he stares at me, I'm blinking. I frown, thinking that this is his new way of making a joke out of me, but then he speaks. Oh? You don't know how to submit your memory to your crystal? No. Wasn't Finnan the one who took you for the initiation? Mm-hmm. What is this all about? Finn was supposed to tell you how. <laughs> That's the most important instruction. Ah, well, huh. there was a lot of information to take in yesterday, and I asked a lot of questions. I didn't think to ask. I didn't want to keep them around too long, either. I felt like Finn was getting a bit annoyed with me, so... A bead of silence stretches between us. Something flickers on Cassius' expression, something like confusion and annoyance, but in the end, he simply sighs. Right. Since we're already here. To input your chosen memory into the hall, you need to focus on that particular memory wholeheartedly while having your key turned. When said memory runs its full course, visualize the hall of memory. To view someone's memory, just insert your key into their pillar. It will determine a fitting exchange automatically. Oh, thank you. Chuckling, Cassius suddenly ruffles my head. I squawk indignantly, slapping his hand away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't thank me with such a sincere expression. You're welcome, Nugget. Just don't tell, an tell anyone that I helped you out. Kind of ruins my image that way. 
Nice one moment and a jerk the next. There's no getting a genuine reaction out of him, huh? Well, nuggets like you should be in bed by now. Go get some rest. I'm not a baby. Stop treating me like one and stop calling me Nugget. Well, you are plenty young compared to me anyway. What are you, barely 80? Over 200, thank you very much. I'm still pretty small. Your wings haven't really grown, have they? That's... That's none of your business. My shout echoes louding in the empty hall. Something flickers across Cassius's face, but I don't bother sticking around to find out what else about it he can make fun of me of. Turning around, I storm out, ignoring Cassius's startled call. Startled? <gasps> Andy! Hello, Andy! How are you doing, Andy? I hope you are doing well, Andy. Welcome on in. Bruh! So Cassius... Ooh! Oh, heck! That's a, that's a interesting. That's a interesting. Hmm. Just waiting to do deliveries? Ooh. You're delivering some more narrative genius to the people. <laughs> but do, 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 I'm, do, I'm glad that you are doing well. Find out something fun? Well, couple things. We, we have begun to pursue Cassius. And as usual, it started with being stabbed by Cassius. And then we got some helpful hints. <laughs> we're trying, we're, I'm trying to do it as like vanilla as I can. Trying not to metagame too hard. So it, w it was naturally going to result in us being stabbed almost immediately. But that's an interesting development. <gasps> And, and we were we were told about the uh, we were told about the um, death row secret, and I'm mad I didn't see it sooner. It makes my heart hurt. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I think we maybe all but one. I think we've got most of the death row endings. I do need to consult the experts on it at some point. Be like, we got an ending where this happened. We got an ending where this happened. We got an ending where this happened. Is there a, is a better ending? Maybe we have to do other endings to get that ending. <gasps> oh, maybe that's like a the full 100% game ending. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> I will consult. I'll consult after that point. Be like, wait, how do I get this one ending? I'm excited though. Well, yeah, it's good to see you, Andy. Don't even have the brain cells for myself, let alone share. Don't worry, we're we're here with full himbo mode. Freaking freaking Cass and I made the same joke, and I haven't got an extra euphemistic joke that he didn't see. So uh, uh, we're here. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Nay, straight broke me quite early on. So it's fine. It's good. Yeah, I'm man. I'm back into it. I not that I was trying to take a break from this game because shit just happened. I was like, I'm not sure I'm in the place for this right now. I was like, oh, I kind of fancy playing it today, and we did. And I'm like, yay! I'm like, fuck! I want to play it all the time again now. God damn it! <laughs> but I'm so excited. I'm excited to get back into it. As a result of last night's run-in with the stupid demon, I came back to my room exhausted and ended up sleeping for the entire day. Thanks to that, I woke up in the middle of my usual rest time with a grumbly stomach. Coupling with how bothered I was about what Cassius commented on the night before makes me so angry I could burst into tears. I'm hungry and angry and I don't know what to do about it! Stupid demon! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Ugh. Oh. I'm not calling him names! Um, we're, we, we got a similar humor sense of it. I wish I could be this person, though. That's the thing. I'm, I'm absolutely valus in this relationship. Like, I'm not always the best at telling sarcasm and jokes from, from real comments. So I fully feel valus on this. 
But if it comes to a euphemism, 100% there. If it comes to a pun, 100% there. <laughs> Unless it's not and then someone's like, I was being serious. It's like, oh, but there's like a really great... That was a really great pun that... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There. Hangi is the, the mood. Do I go out and get food right now? But that would be... Shameful. Would Death Row laugh at me for that? A fate worse than Death Row. Oh. Worse, what if I run into the stupid imp? I'm just gonna do any... Any stupid demon or stupid imp is just gonna be stupid imp! Uh... Go... Wait for what? Wait for what? Wait for Finnan to ruin my life? I don't think. I don't think. Yeet. Ah, screw it! Ah, screw it. I'm too hungry to care or think straight right now. And I'm certainly not going to be suffering because of a demon. Sucking in a breath and almost doubling over because of how that makes my empty stomach hurt, I storm over to the door and yank it open and close it gently because Angie's here. Even when Angie isn't here, oh. we close the door nicely. Oh, oh, I like this line. <clears throat> oh, my, my. Someone is angry. <laughs> that was fun. Suddenly facing Deathrell's smirking visage, my anger evaporates and a flooding sense of shame overwhelms me as I should be simping for her. Hi, Deathrell. I, uh, um, I was getting a bit hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Yes! <laughs> Best. Best game. Best game. 10 out of 10. Pew, pew, pew. Get yonder all the game, the void game right now. On your Xbox and your Switch and your Nintendo 3DS Lite only. They are the only consoles this game is on. <laughs> you know, I was starting to wonder if I was turning into Death Aral. But maybe we were just similar all along. Maybe that's what it actually was. I would love like a BuzzFeed style witch character from Yonder World in the void, are you? I would probably I would probably get Ruby and then your guys' lore would only deepen. I will buy it on all three of my switches. <laughs> and the 3DS light. Especially the 3DS light. Hang on, I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I don't love Ruby. I already explained this. I don't not love Ruby, but I don't love Ruby. He's not my favorite character. That's an improvement, though. I don't. I don't. You know, I'm Death Row. I've got. I've kind of gotta love Ruby. You, you've been telling Kant. Yeah, I saw. I I went and saw his vod because I didn't realize I missed it. So I went and had a peek. I saw. I saw yo. <laughs> I ain't nothing from me. I'm the mistress of the fucking void. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> what did he say? What was his reaction? Do we not have some lord for him? Is he not teased? I mean, we we do stab him kind of a lot. I think I saw that bit as well. He was like, yeah, he was like talking about stabbing me. Was that what she meant? I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. To be fair, my, my meme is I like a character that I don't like and his is that we fucking stab him, which we did. So, yeah, no, fair enough. I'll, I'll shut up. <clears throat> I've, I've got to, I've got to, oh? I've got to do these lines again. It's great. Oh, my, my. Someone is angry. <laughs> Hi, Death or Al. <laughs> I, uh... Um, <clears throat> I was getting a bit hungry. <laughs> so, hangry, then. Hangry. Ah. Uh, struck with a huge wave of embarrassment by her teasing, I have to use all my self-control to not fold in on myself on the ground right then and there. <laughs> Death Row chuckles, making me blush even more. <laughs> well... Do not let me hold you back, then. Go eat. R right. Thank you. Sorry for disturbing you. 
With my tail between my legs figuratively, I dash into the dining room, embarrassed beyond all words. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, would fucking die. Would fucking die. I would fucking melt in front of her if that happened. Can has not seen the Ruby Bump parts yet. Let me know when he does. Oh my god. Let me know. Let me know. Safely slamming the door. You mean you, he's not convinced? He's not persuaded by you going knife? Knife, 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 because that is enough for that. You ju even just the correctly spelled version of knife once is enough to get my attention. <laughs> but maybe that's why I play Detheral. <laughs> you know, maybe. <laughs> Although we did say, Angie, we did say we need to do, not only do we need to do like uh, cast, cast crew uh, chaos reading times, but we also need to do uh, cast crew reading chaos times where uh, we, I read Cassius's lines in Deathrell's voice, and Can reads Deathrell's lines in Cassius's voice. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. Knife, knife, knife. Mm, nugget. <laughs> Yo, nugget. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> I did give him the taint one time. <laughs> Safely slamming the door behind me, I pat my burning face. Oh, that was so embarrassing. I knew she would be teasing me. Ah, right. Let's go get this food thing settled so it'll stop bothering me. Preferably not with more of the dry and tough rations, though. Unless that's all I have right now. I could just chew on the flowers, I guess. I sort of want to make something myself, but I don't think I have the patience for it at the moment. Also, I wouldn't want to mess up the kitchen, as I wouldn't be able to cook like Oxen. Besides, whether or not I could be burned in this state, I'm sure it would be unpleasant regardless. With a dejected sigh, I pick through the packages available. Is that fucking shortbread? Uh, shortbread. We'll put a little bit of sugar on it, it'll be a shortbread. It'll be a little great. Jerky or hardtack? Or both? Hmm. Yeah, that's bad for digestion. Does my digestive system work like a human's does? I make a face at that thought. An unsavory thought for an unsavory meal. I really do wish these were more pleasant to eat, though. They're so tough. One is so tough and the other is so bland. Am I gonna crack a tooth with this? Does the honor have dental services? What? What in the heavens am I thinking? The fatigue I've been having really is getting to me, huh? And I've been talking to myself, too. Am I losing my mind along with my angelic immortality? The bits of food I've been munching on drop to the table. My hands tremble as I hold my head. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Wasn't I so set on fixing my equipment that I asked Deathrall entry to the research hall in the first place? I've wasted two whole days not doing anything already! Not to mention the day I was initiated to the Hall of Memory, I was so shocked and overwhelmed that I couldn't get to do anything at all that day. What in the heavens am I- am I- am I just completely... not doing anything right now? Just getting easily distracted by these new things, these different changes? I... What am I doing? Why am I just fooling around like this? Tossing away the rest of my food, which I barely touched, I storm out of the room, barely holding back tears. Ooh, if only there was a big, strong demon who could catch us and tell us it's all gonna be okay and also call us a nugget. If only... If only there was someone who could do that for us. That would be so great. Oh my god. I should have given Ruby that voice. Oh my fucking god. I should have given. Maybe this is the playthrough where we do that. We haven't met him yet. It's not too late to give Ruby this voice. <laughs> the lab is blissfully quiet and empty. I let out a sigh of relief. I don't want to deal with anyone today. All right, let's look into this. Ignoring my stomach's complaints, I set up shop at one of the desks and begin gathering as many referential books as I can. Oh. 
You will not die until your mortal wife is over. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. And there is this. Uh, this seems to be matching up to it too. Wait, what about this? Ugh. Rubbing a fist over my eyes, I frown at how blurry they've become. Maybe it has something to do with my empty stomach. You've read about it before, how humans become fatigued when they're hungry. Sighing, I flip over another book, stare at it for a while, get confused because I can't seem to understand anything at all, and then realize I've been trying to read it upside down. Ah, Come on. Nugget. Ooh. See, it's not just my voice I do it. <laughs> if you keep pushing yourself like that, you're gonna pass out. Damn it. That's none of your business. The loud gurgles emitting from my stomach completely ruined my delivery there. Mm, tired and hungry, huh? Oh, just get lost. So touchy. Come on, Oxon is making food. Get up and have some before everything's gone. At the mention of Axon's food, my stomach lets out another embarrassingly loud grumble. Axon is back, huh? Well, as much as I want to get some proper food, I'm not in the mood for either Cassius's jabbing or Axon's distrustful passive aggressiveness. I pointedly pick up a book, but my shaky fingers slip, making it fall to the ground. You really are stubborn, huh? Go away. I don't know what happens next, but the world suddenly turns on its axis. The stupid demon... S sorry, I said that wrong. The stupid demon has picked me up and thrown me over his shoulder! Hey, put me down! For a half-starved little angel, you're still quite loud, huh? Put me down! Ah! Uselessly, my fists thump against his back. I try to kick him too, but he easily holds down both my legs with one arm. Put me down, you stupid demon! Yeah, 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 I've had worse. Nah! He just goes full gremlin. <laughs> full gremlin noise. No, like, heavenly. Oh, no! Ah! Just no, just... <laughs> Unfortunately, my struggles are futile. Cassius dumps me unceremoniously into a chair, looking far too pleased with himself. Must you always make a ruckus everywhere you go? Apologies, your majesty. Just thought I could bring you someone to feed. This chicken needs stuffing. Oh my god! Get the fuck out! This chicken needs stuffing. <laughs> Screw you! Your mouth is certainly wide enough. Why are you like this? I told you to leave her alone! Yeah, listen to the queen. I'm sorry. I know that's right, I'm a goddess, carry on. She is only going to be a distraction. Or maybe not. Ugh, these people are so unreasonable! Huh. Oh. You know what, never mind, they're so reasonable. They're so... Oh. Oh. Before I can make my opinions known, though, I accent places down a sizzling platter of food in front of me. You are doing no favor to yourself like this. Eat it up. You look like you're going to pass out. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Dazed and completely distracted by how good the food smells, I dig in with vigor. I hadn't even realized how ravenous I am before this. Is there any salt to go with that vigor? <laughs> that was really bad, I'm sorry. With every bite, the cramps in my stomach has been developing subside, and I feel a little less wilted. Though, as soon as I finish the food and the haze of hunger finally leaves me, I sway at the spot, ready to collapse. Catch me. I- Oh! I was kidding, but okay! <laughs> I would have face-planted on the table if Cassius didn't reach out to steady me. My head spins and my vision is getting even more blurry. This kid, how long has she been going without food? Don't know. I don't think. Huh? I... Uh... Their voices sound so fuzzy and far away. Everything around me starts blurring and darkening around the edges too. This is... 
<sighs> Damn it. I'm gonna pass out, aren't I? <laughs> oh, they brr. I woke up with a headache. The throbbing behind my eyes is painful, but that's nothing compared to the explosive headache that hits me when I come to. I roll to my side and curl up miserably. It gets to a point that the pain is almost cathartic. Turning myself, I lie sprawled as everything around me seems to spin and I'm weightless. Spin. The sensation is strange and scary and all I can do is let out a weak whimper. I try to get up, but my body is so fatigued. I slump back to the bed immediately. I can't be bothered to try again knowing that it would be the same result. So every time we faint, are people able to bring us back to our room? Or is that like when Cassius tried to kill us and it's like the gentle, the gentle tendrils of darkness, death around, like just bringing us back to our bed, maybe? I wonder, I wonder. Death around eats, yeah, that makes sense. Like, oh, she's full. She, f she passed the fuck out again. How many times is that now? It's like a Kingdom Hearts intro in here. All right, no worries. I'll put her back in bed. <laughs> Great pitch from Dathoral. That's that's one of my other names. Home run goddess. <laughs> that's why they call it Eldritch Blast. They named it after Dathoral yeeting someone into bed. <laughs> Thank you, hands. <laughs> I try to get up, but my body is so fatigued, I slump back to the bed immediately. I can't be bothered to try again, knowing it would be the same result. Worse, I can slip and tumble to the floor. Hitting my head and passing out again sounds absolutely terrible right now. <sighs> I let out another whimper, because in addition to the exhaustion, the clawing hunger has returned. Oh, this sucks. So much. Look at me, a heavenly angel about to pass out of hunger and exhaustion. And then, even then, I probably still won't be able to meet my maker. I don't even have the energy left to get up, to get angry or despair over it. Holy heavens above, I really am losing my mind. What was that? I'm pretty sure I let out an inquiry, but it comes out more like a sad ugh, instead. Well, whatever it was, it gives whoever knocked permission to enter. Or something, I don't even know. Yo! Also, also, like a, like a 50s baseball outfit would suit Death Aral so fucking much. Team, baseball team yonder? I'm here for this. The, the yonder summer games? Yes. Death Row naturally pitcher because she can't fucking go anywhere. <laughs> Ruby doesn't use a baseball bat, he just uses explosions. Ito tells the ball where to go and it goes. Udon uses his tail. Finnan's not fucking invited. Val would be in an open thing, two sizes too big. <laughs> this is true, yes. Yeah, like a really big cap. That would be adorable! That would be adorable! Yeah, they, they have to remind Ruby not to aim at the other players, but to aim at the ball. <sighs> knock, knock, who's there? Your mom? Oi, nugget. See, I just need, I need this. Oi, nugget. Of course, it's the damn demon. I grumble, curling into myself. Why are you so loud all the time? Of course, it's the first thing you said upon waking after three days of being a dead chicken would be complaints. Why are... Why are you... Three days? I... I would make this the 20th day of being in the yonder. 
An uncontrollable shiver overtakes me. I feel so sick I might start hurling that as if my stomach wasn't already empty. Perhaps alarmed by my sudden bout of violent coughing, Cassius looms over me. Oi, Nugget, don't dial me now. Ch in the end, Cassius props me up against the bed frame and shoves a glass of water in my hand, making me drink in small sips between the intervals of my coughing fits. <clears throat> Thanks. I told you, don't thank me with such a sincere expression. How are you feeling? Like... Like I'm about to die. Hmm, that's to be expected. I don't have anything for you right now. Let's have some of these. <laughs> That's Val's actual reaction. <clears throat> the sugar should tie tie you over somewhat, and you can't overstuff yourself with these. Ah, thanks. The sweet fruity candy is just a small treat, but it tastes like the best thing I've ever had right now. I relish in how it just melts in my mouth, soaking my parched and too thick tongue with flavors. It doesn't chase away my throbbing headache, nor does it completely stamp out the pain in my stomach, but it certainly soothes me. After this, do you think you can get to the dining room? Oh, uh, I, I think so. I kind of have to, right? Yeah, you need to get something more than just candies into your system. Ah, uh, right. God, I'm still so dizzy, but I think I can manage that bar at least. After having the last candy, I swing my legs off the bed one at a time. Shakily, I stand, leaning against the bedside table to steady myself. Taking a few deep breaths, I start making my way towards the door. Cassius keeps an eye out, steadying me when I stumble and guiding me with a firm hand between my shoulder blades. Not there! That's the, that's the... I'm just getting weaker if you put this in there. It's quite embarrassing being helped along by a demon, but I'm too tired to put up much of a protest. Frankly, I'm a bit thankful that he sticks around to help me to begin with. It takes much longer than usual, but eventually I make it. Slumping onto one of the chairs, I barely have the strength to let out a grunt. Just with that short of a walk, it feels like it has sucked all the energy candies out. All the energy the candies gave me. Oh, is that soup? Oh, is it? Good soup. Here. It's planned, but it won't make you sick. Eat slowly. Oh, oh thanks. I like the idea that she's still got her clipboard and pen in hand this whole time. <laughs> she's just ready to take any more notes. <laughs> oh, we haven't got our we haven't got our pertinent interview questions with us right now. How can we ask Deathrell if we don't have our pertinent interview questions? Oh no, I think we do. No, we don't. No, we don't, because we had them instead of um meeting people. I think. Yeah, I don't think we have them in this playthrough. Oh. I liked our list of questions, though. <laughs> Do you prefer pineapple jelly, pineapple, and pizza, yes or no? <laughs> What's your favorite flower? Good soup. Absman is here to help. Absman will protect the small. Swoon. Swoon. <laughs> I don't think I have the coordination to shovel the food into my mouth quickly anyway. Cassius said the soup is bland, but the general taste is more than good enough. It brings warmth back into my body, going down smoothly and soothing all my pains gradually. While I eat slowly, it's no time at all before I clean the bowl to its last drop. <gasps> no, nay, don't, no, no, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me, it's too soon, it's too soon. I love you. Uh, no, I I ain't saying nothing about pineapple. I don't. I try not to get in that debate, <laughs> especially on Twitch. But it's we we were joking earlier about um because we found uh we just stayed in our room and just 
uh, Velis came up with some questions to ask Thethera. So <laughs> we just we just did a whole ass bit of just like all the questions Velis like decides to try and ask her while she's totally losing her shit the entire time. It was it was very fun. <laughs> I know the real okay, um real quick. Um God 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 wanted to know um uh, um if <laughs> Do, do you prefer Disney or Pixar? <laughs> he needs to know right now. God needs to know. He wanted to know. He asked me. He brought me here to ask you. What's your favorite? <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Lady... Lady Desrel, hi. Um, real quick. Jesus wanted to know. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> Do you prefer Easter or Christmas? Oh wait, you're a goddess. You don't celebrate either of them. Oh god, don't kill me. <laughs> That's where I prefer Looney Tunes. Damn right. That pig's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I also like the skunk. It's got style. It's a bit creepy though. May I? Please, sir. May I? May I have some more? Good, huh? Sure. Yeah, the suit is good. Don't do it. You could say it's... Don't do it. Good soup. Alright, you're not getting on more soup. Oh, please. This time my head is clear after sating my hunger and I can actually think a little now. Cassius, me passing out like that... It's not normal, right? <laughs> Bitch, look at me. Of course it's normal. I know. Even regular humans, even if they have to go without food for a couple of days or sleep, they would have been fine. Right? <laughs> I'm at soup. <laughs> Where am I? Soup. At soup. They wouldn't... They wouldn't have passed out like I did, right? Oh, why are you buying clothes at the soup store? <laughs> yes, I know. I always forget the soup meme. I always forget the soup aisle meme. Yes. Okay. We, we'll contact Can. We need to recreate that scene with with the with the with the bros. Yeah. Then, then why? Because you're not human, Nugget. Is there an ending of this where we're canonically actually a Nugget? <laughs> Just turn into a Nugget. Raising up three fingers, he begins counting down the reasons. Physically, you're not used to this kind of exhaustion, thus having no endurance to withstand it for as long as a normal human can. Because of that, you mentally weren't prepared for it, adding to the shock of the situation. As you were technically damaged, your grace went into overdrive trying to heal you. And because my grace has been having troubles adjusting to the yonder, it goes into shock as well, resulting in the three-day coma. That's about right. Looking down at my half-eaten good soup, I feel my appetite seeding. I'm that weak, huh? I don't even have to feel my grace to know it's a lot fainter now. It's whole, but fading with no sign of regenerating. Being so far away from home, so far away from God, it's something to be expected, but I didn't even think about that. There are tales from the warriors and guardians who had to traverse the several layers of the hells in my world. Talking about how draining and difficult it is to be so far away from home, away from our father's love. But of course, because of how fixated I've been about the state of the equipment, I completely glossed over that. Neglected to conserve myself. With a good suit. If my grace goes empty, I'll just be a human with wings. Maybe my innate ability would remain, but that would be about it. Even if I can return to heavens without my grace, I wouldn't be able to enter, let alone stay there. Without my grace, it wouldn't matter if I have my items repaired, or good soup, or not. I won't be able to have them work for me without my grace, and I certainly won't be allowed back in just because I'm in possession of the equipment. 
like I should have taken care of my newly emerged human needs, but I was careless. And now I'm paying the price! Hello! Moosey moosey. Hello, pierogi boy and friends! Welcome in! Welcome in! I hope you're doing well today! How is the stream? Oh, heck! Oh, heck! I'm hoping to get into some Sekiro at some point. How is it? Is it, is, I mean, is it, is it, do I need to ask if it's hard? Do I need to ask how it's going? <laughs> that's, that's, you know, that's, that's one of them Soulsborne games that's probably gonna be a little bit tricky, but it's very lovely to have you guys in. Welcome on in, hello pierogi, hello ninja. Do very much hope you're doing well today. And everyone who came in on the raid, it's very, very, pardon me, lovely to have you here. If you haven't been here before, hello! My name is Kimeriki, but you can call me Ki. Uh, variety streamer, voice actor, artist, a bit of everything. And today we're playing a game that I'm in! And uh, we're not romancing ourselves anymore. Sorry, sorry about that chat. But we're romancing this guy instead, so right? <laughs> That's about. I mean, it's very lovely to have you all here. How was the stream? Let us know what was going on. Good challenge, very fun. With some annoying challenges mixed in. Ah, yeah. So, so good challenges and then some less than, less than fun challenges in there. I see, I see. Um, but yeah, it's very lovely to have you. Thank you so much again for the raid. Be sure to go send your love to Pierogi Boy as well if you haven't already, friends. Streaming some Sekiro shadows die twice. But also a very, very prominent and very wonderful dreams creator. So be sure to go and send your love, especially, especially, but not, but not only. Especially if you like dreams. If you don't like dreams, get in, get into it. Get into it. It's good stuff. Um, no worries, Angie. We will. <laughs> we will. Thank you very much for coming along, lovely. Yes, yes. I, I am. I am in this. This is. I, I keep introducing it to people. I'm like, this is a really wonderful game called Yonder World: Interview with the Void, which you can get now on various different. Um, PC platforms. And I have a potato laptop and it runs on mine. Um, we have the lovely Nay and we had Angie, but Angie is leaving now. But we love you, Angie. We'll see you soon. We'll treat the door well. Um, who are the devs of this game? Um, and constantly torturing us voice actors. Oh, no. <laughs> with, with the wonderful memes and their lovely company. Um, but yeah, this is a visual novel where you play as a little, little angel. This is this is us. We are Velus. We are a small small angel, and we had we were on on a job in heaven, and then uh, things exploded a little bit, and now we're in this weird place called the Yonder, which is very scary and very um, full of lots of um, very romanceable and very scary characters all at the same time. Um, and yes, uh, I play the the lovely lovely mistress of the void, uh, Death Arrow who um, we have been trying very hard to romance for many streams. And now we are moving on to the wonderful Cassius, who keeps calling us Nugget. So, because we're a little chicken. Um, and we're, we almost died. So now he's looking after us and giving us candy. Um, oh, we're doing a dev stream this Saturday on the Floating Abyss account. Yes! Yes! Yeah, let, me, let us know the time and stuff, Angie. We'll, we'll share it in the Discord and make sure people come along. Would love to come along. Wings, nugget, I get it. Yeah, there may or may not have been a chicken suit involved at one point. You know, it happens. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much again, guys, for the raid. Feel free to stay. Feel free to chat. Join in for a bit. If you need to go and get some food or sleep or whatever, please feel free to. There is no pressure. But it is very lovely to have your company, nonetheless. Um, and I'm sure you've had a wonderful day as you've been over at Pierogi's channel. If just gen just generally, I hope it's been a good day. Or a good evening, or a good night, depending on where you're at. Um, but yes, you join us as we are um, trying not to die and lose faith in God. It happens, you know, ca just very casual things. Um, if in doubt, we also have some content warnings for this game. So if there is anything there that affects you, please do look after yourselves first and foremost. And yes. But if you genuinely, this is like, not because I'm in it. I know it. I know it sounds like it every time. This is genuinely one of the best visual novels I've ever played. 
is very deep as well. Like we've we've only been romancing one character until today, and we're already like thirty hours of playtime in. We this is, this is very good. It is very very broad and very deep and very good. It doesn't it doesn't go too edgy or um, generic with the endings either. Some of, again, some of the endings, including the bad endings, pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Cooler than some good endings to game games I've played before. So if you are interested, do be sure to check it out. And there are free trials, so you don't have to you don't have to come in if you're not sure. Good times. But yes, please do join us as we carry on with a little bit of eating soup. You join us at the very <laughs> exciting point in this realm of darkness and shadows and waiting for this red moon to rise. Wondering what eldritch beings live in this place and we're eating soup because we we fainted. So, you know, just another day in the void. <laughs> Best soup. Good soup. I should have taken care of my newly emerged human needs, but I was careless and now I'm paying the price. You're internalizing a bit too hard there. It's no good regretting what has been, you know? Oh. It, it's difficult not to. You angels are all the same, huh? At least finish the food, otherwise my cooking would have gone to waste. Oh. R right. <gasps> he made the soup! He made the soup for us! Aww. Aww. Should have taken care of my newly emerged human needs, yep. Right? This, this game's full of them! Full of them! <laughs> full of... Full of some frickin' lines! It's good shit. It's good shit. Good soup. Extra good soup. Yeah, we are we are becoming slowly more mortal from our previously immortal angel self, so now we need things like soup and sleep and and temperatures. <laughs> I take another spoonful eyeing Cassius quizzically. You? You made this? Wouldn't it be fucked if it's like n nugget soup? He just got chicken nuggets and blended them and made them soup for us. And then he's like, ha, ah, you're a cannibal now. <laughs> I wouldn't put it above him. I wouldn't put it above him. Yep. Huh. Well, good enough to challenge Jackson's own skills, no? I blink at him and then look down at the soup. Nah. <laughs> Rude. I let out a soft chuckle, then take another spoonful. Cassius is clearly trying to distract me from spiraling mentally, which I can appreciate. Oh, Oh! About what happened? Oh, when we passed out? Ooh! Mmm! You need a little bit of de-spiral? But then do you carry on with the levity? Or do you go back into the serious after, like, breaking the ice a little bit more? Ooh. What would- what would Cassius do? Let's do a save. Cassius would save. Cassius wouldn't save. Cassius... Is- is a... Is a... Audacious man. He is a gremlin. This is true. I think Velus would be too nervous to just keep playing along. <laughs> Can is a save scum, this is true. Oh, <laughs> Can, sorry, I got the mix up. Can is a... Understandable, understandable. I'm, I'm more facing the consequences of my action. I'm the fuck around and find out. And then replay a lot of the game. <laughs> Can's just like, nope, 20 seconds earlier. <laughs> yeah, let's ask about what happened. Yeah. But that's not enough to take my mind off the matter. Hey, Cassius? What happened to me? Well, I just explained what to you, right? Your body basically went into shock. You ate so quickly that you got sick after your body passed out. I put another bot- don't worry about it. It takes me a moment to comprehend what he said. And that mental image almost got me sick right now. With permission from Her Excellency, I took you back into your room. Oh! 
So she could have. He's like, no, no, no. I, 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 I got her. Wait, where? Wait, wait, the way. What's, what's, what's going on? Yeah, there's our. Damn, we still, we, you know, I'm just saying, we still love Death Row. I can't, we can't help it. Um. Oh God, wrong side. Holy shit. Okay. 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 Right. I you. Boop, sweetheart. I checked on you every once in a while to make sure you're still breathing. And here you are. I guess I owe him one, then. Running a hand through my hair, I sigh. It's not just the fact that my current physical state is frail, but also my memory is spotty. Even if I pass out from fatigue, I should be able to remember everything. Everything I have seen right up to where my consciousness fades out regardless. But I can only remember bits and pieces of what happened. This is just... Pad isn't even enough to describe it. I see. You seem even more dejected than before. Shouldn't I have told you that? I promise I didn't prod at you or anything. Stupid, that's not even what I'm worrying about. Oh? He looks me up and down, tapping his thigh as he does. Ah, memory defect. Is that it? Ah, uh, that... Yeah. I'm a bit stunned that he managed to understand that right away, but I suppose that's expected of a demon. He must have a lot of experiences with angelical functions, albeit in a different perspective. If that's the case, why not try using the Hall of Memory? That... that would work? It depends on what the Hall deems as qualified to be recorded, but for you that was fairly traumatic, right? Of course, he would immediately categorize that as traumatic, but I suppose he isn't quite wrong either. I, I guess so, but... Oh! <gasps> yeah! I forgot about you! I forgot about you! Oh no! I for for just for one indescribable moment, I forgot this fucker exists. For one indescribable moment. Oh, Ninja, this is this is Finnan. They them. Um and uh and they're fine. They haven't done anything wrong. Not a thing. They are the sweetest. <laughs> Yeah, we're big we're big Finn and fans in here. Big Finn and fans. <laughs> but yes. Um I, I shan't reveal the extent to what Finnan has done for those who are just joining us, but our reactions are warranted. Before I can voice my next question, the door swings open. Elegantly, Finnan floats in a soft glow to their whole being. Oh my oh my. I did not expect to see you two together like this. Wrong voice, goddamn. Oh my, oh my. Oh, that's the same. I did not expect to see you two together like this. How scandalous. An angel and a demon. Socializing, huh? Oh, that's right. <laughs> what am I doing here talking to Cassius like he's an acquaintance? Um, um, because we're... Bitch, look at the graph. We're acquaintances. Flirty acquaintances. He's still a demon after all. Even if he helped me, it's just because he wants me to be indebted to him, which I foolishly am now. <gasps> no! <gasps> no, no, babe. Don't tease the nugget too much. Babe? Does Cassius have that kind of relationship with Finnan? Does, does Finnan really... Finnan doesn't seem to be shocked by Cassius's address, but sidles up. <clears throat> I'm in danger! But sidles up to Cassius's side instead, drawing teasing circles on his exposed sin with skin with the tip of their finger. <laughs> Did I say sin? With Finnan? Oops. <laughs> oh my, I just didn't realize the two of you are so close. 
Close enough for you to have a nickname for her. Huh. Well, you know how I am. Seeing something so small makes me want to bully her. Hmm. That may be so. But seeing you caring for her for a whole three days. <laughs> that makes me a bit jealous, you know. Don't you think I deserve a bit of pampering as well? Of course you do, babe. Offering an arm to Finn and Cassius plasters on a smile so sickly sweet it has to be fate. Allow me to escort you to your chambers. Of course you may. <laughs> Before they both depart from the dining room, Finnan gives me a smile that is just as sweet as the one Cassius is wearing. Bye bye, Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If my appetite was diminishing before, it's completely gone now. Somehow, hearing Finnan call me Nugget makes me feel deeply uncomfortable. He's so fun. They're so fun to voice, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Go full! Go full! Woo! I haven't played a full a full audacity character yet. But one day, one day. But I have much bigger problems right now, don't I? I'm out of soup! I'm out of the good soup! <laughs> What's wrong, guys? You don't like me? But I'm Finnan. I'm just a sweet celestial. I just want to know what you guys are up to. Nothing wrong with that. Not like my babe is spending a little bit more time with you than I'm comfortable with. Nothing to be... afraid of. Where's Ruby? Get Ruby stat! <laughs> yeah, snap, snap some necks! <laughs> The Chronicles of Yonder, the Lion, the Witch, and the Audacity of this bitch. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to run into Oxon later yesterday around dinner time. Despite desperately wanting to progress some more with my work, I know pushing myself into exhaustion again is folly. Even after my body recovered, I have to admit that continuing to try and fix my equipment would be a waste of time. If I can't preserve and recover my grace, I'm done for regardless. And that brings me here. Standing in front of Death Rail to make another request. Hmm. <laughs> A way to recover your grace. Hmm? Y yes. I, I know that. Well, that's what I believe anyway, that I'm not falling, so that means the energy I possess, my grace that is, can be recovered. But I don't. I don't know how to... So I would like to request permission to enter the library for... for more research. Deathrell studies me behind the glint of her monocle. I hold myself still, trying hard not to tremble. We ain't even romancing her this time. She's still having an effect. She has an effect on me and I fucking voice her. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Ah! <laughs> Can you blame a voice actor for seeing this and going, "Yep, where? Give me, give me the lines. Give me, give me the lines. Where do I audition? Right here, right here. I audition right here. Okay, <laughs> worth it. <laughs> I won't be above resolving to beg for her permission if it comes to that. Oh, I'm sure she would love that. Choo choo, some train. What? Wait. <laughs> we're so we're so used to the sim train did she just say no oh no i'm gonna cry she's she hates us she fucking hates us no <laughs> she doesn't hate us so i would like to request permission to enter the library for more research 
No. But, but... You have no ground to make demands, little angel. You requested permission- oh shit. No, <laughs> I don't like when this music starts. You requested permission to interview me. I have granted that. Yet, you have not been at all diligent to this supposed task that you were sent here for. Ah, oh, you're right, you're right, Nate, you're right. You requested permission to enter the research hall to fix your equipment on the grounds that you need them to conduct your interviews. I have granted that as well. Once again, not only have you not made any progress with what you asked, you went and created a commotion. Still, I granted you access to another room, possibly the most important place in the Onda. Yet you have the audacity to ask for more. What's happening? I'm scared. Terrified, I crumble to my knees, unable to form a word under the pressure Deathrall is exuding. I can't even make a sound. I can't even think. Do not abuse my hospitality, child. Else, you shall find what I might have in store for such audacity is... Far more diabolical than any punishment your heavens can ever dish out. <laughs> Make use of the tools given to you. Or perish. I... I understand. It is all I managed to say with my head hanging low as possible. My wings furl tightly around my shoulders as if that can possibly shield me if Deathrall wishes me harm. I basically crawl out of her sight and back into my room. <gasps> oh god! <laughs> Make myself cry! No, that would... Mm-mm. 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 Hang on. Can I, can I reminisce? I can't reminisce in this one. They haven't got the gallery in here. That's probably for the best. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Romance 5. So you're saying there's a chance? Right? That's basically Death Row's whole, whole romance is like, okay, that goes against me, but you're saying there's a chance. Okay, that goes against me, but you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> And she is thoroughly entertained by it, with what lack of heart she doesn't have. Oh, her her lines are great. Her lines sincerely awesome. I mean, what's the one? Um. Um. It is my understanding. I'm just like paraphrasing, so apologies. It's my understanding that your heaven is tied to the mortal realm. Correct. So, if the mortal world found itself destroyed, would that too mean the end of your heavens? So, like, oh, you asking an angel this? You asking an angel? If they think if the world dis was destroyed that the heaven would be as- Jesus fucking Christ! Bellis is here like, what books do you like? And, and Death Row's like, so you're God. Are they r real? Yes, no? How are you feeling? Are they really a God if they don't give you guidance and support? Are they really a God if they don't try to reach you here? Mm -hmm. Bruh, you tell me, bitch. I don't fucking know. <laughs> She's great. I love her. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I just want to go home. Please. Someone please save me. Use emergency. Use a... Use a... Right? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is it? Please. Please don't. No. No! You don't mean what I think you mean. 
I mean, we... What is this? I'm so stupid, I should have used it the moment I got sucked into this world. Instead, I was afraid of some punishment when my life has constantly been on the line here. Foolish and inexperienced, I have waited out wasting so much precious time. I let fear rule my actions and coward before simple threats. Even if my superiors deem me guilty and assign me punishments, it would be a lot less terrible than the fate awaiting me here. I can't take this anymore. Please send me home. What? Oh no, this isn't gonna go well. This isn't gonna go well. Raising my- this is the non-canonical decision. I would ordinarily not make this decision if not for curiosity. Raising my quill, I step right at the compass, right in the middle of the cracked glass and break the seal. <laughs> Something is rippling in the air, sending me crashing against the door and back into the throne room. <gasps> Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since we directly killed ourselves. All right. My. <laughs> I see that this is what you have chosen. I. I. I'm sorry. I. I. I just want to go home. But of course you do. The energy crackles again. The broken compass shatters its pieces, assembling itself into a gate. Through it, I see the glimpses of my heavens, and the glimpses of the guards that have assembled. My eyes widen, my heart stops. I know exactly what they're going to do. No. Intruders! Battle cries and urgent swooshes of wings fall towards us through the portal with an alarming speed. No! No, don't come! Behind me, I hear Deathrell's melodious laughter. <laughs> Despair wells up within me as her darkness grows denser, while whipping out to catch the first angel that appears and rips his wings out as though they were toothpicks. I'm so small. Come, little ones. Come to the void. Come and watch as your world falls. My tears taste bitter. I want to shut out the screaming all around me, the screaming of my people as they are torn apart, grace and all. I want everything to stop. But it does it? Waves and waves of angels continue to charge at death row through the portal. Waves and waves of angels keep getting swiped out of existence as death row's darkness spills through the opening that I have made and into the heavens. There is only one thought in my head. I did this. I did this. It's all my fault. I mean, like, I mean, like, bitch slay though, that was fucking badass. <laughs> yes, queen! Yes, queen! Look. Technically. Technically. Not a good ending. Not technically. Best ending. Bitch, yes, get it. <laughs> we haven't seen her kill anyone. Except for us, right at the beginning. I'm glad she got another moment of being fucking badass. Hell yes, I'm here for that. <laughs> and we got another ending. And it was death row related. I'm here for that. Holy shit. I wonder where Ruby gets it from. We didn't even see Ruby in this playthrough yet. Holy shit. 
It was, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I mean, we can't even say it's one of Deathrell's colder sides. We can't even say it's one of her meaner sides. She doesn't have sides. She has no heart. She ate her heart so her love may survive. Although we don't technically know that at this point, I don't think. I don't think. We might do, actually. Angel popping runs in the family. That's what I like. Ruby pops the angels. We pluck them. And just for fun, not even as part of a punishment. Ruby was told that was his duty. We just... Fuck them bitches. I'm so small, so cute, trying to come into my house. Absolutely the fuck not. Make a right mess. I love- I love to see it! I love to see my girl getting crazy! <laughs> yeah, that's just death roll watching TV on a Thursday. Like, I appreciate that. Holy shit. Very cool. Very happy. Very, very thumbs up. Hell yeah, death roll. I'm proud of you, girl. But yes, on that note, we will have to end it there for tonight. But. And I mean, we've got to go. We've got to give Cass some credit as well. There we go. All right. GG, Cass. Oh, this this game this is very cool. Yeah. And um, Death Row is, is Nay's, one of Nay's oldest NPC NPCs. <laughs> Uh, I need some good soup. Um, one of Nay's oldest OCs. There you go. OC. Um, so big, 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 big up to Nay for, and Angie, of course, and everyone involved for making such a wonderful game. And thank you, the fuck, for bringing me on board. Holy shit. <laughs> and of course, we have the wonderful Can to shout out as well, who killed us again today in the same way. I wonder how many times we've been... <laughs> We've been killed by him in that specific way. E even even just trying different things. Yes, thank you, Hess. Yes, and if you have enjoyed this little snippet, or however much you've been watching, you can catch all of our VODs. We've got all the VODs of the games we've been playing up so far, and they are all also very slowly and eventually going up on YouTube as well, so you can check both of those out. The link for YouTube is below the stream. Where it says YouTube, um, they're going up slowly because though because it's been it's been a fucking couple of weeks, but we're we're hopefully back on track a bit more now. Um, yeah, oh, like legit or just any like, if they're like um, I want something with a bit of romance, and that's like kind of edgy but not in a cheesy way. And I want like some good some good hard-hitting shit but with some levity and some good times and romance but not like just a gimme romance either just some eldritch fuckery if this doesn't tick the box of eldritch fuckery i don't know what the fuck does I absolutely recommend this game and again you can get a free trial right now on steam and or itch.io you can get both you could buy the game on both platforms nobody's gonna stop you um but yeah, do support the game if you're interested in it. And I very, very highly recommend it. Again, I've got a stupid number of hours in it so far. Um, do it, and don't do it for me. Do it for Death Row. Do it for Death Row. She'd love to have you in the void. Well, if she could love. But if she could love, she would love to have you in the void. You've got sweeties, got candy, good soup. Exploding angels. You know. <laughs> Some snacks for the way, yep. Naga called Udon. Like, what's not to love? What's not to love? Some snacks and snakes. Yes. I'm, yeah, genuinely, genuinely thrilled to even be a remotely small part of this project. Um, or a, a remote part of this project in any fucking facet. Um, and do give it love because the, the better it does, we might get more, more stuff, like may, like maybe sequel that nay has been hinting to, maybe maybe rom romanceable Ito, 
Maybe if it does really well, I might admit something, some truths about favourite characters. Who knows? <laughs> but be sure to give it some love if you have been enjoying this. Well worth your time. Again, if you like getting into, if you want the romances, it can take quite a while. There are also some walkthroughs to help you out. And they are adding more content soon. There's going to be an ending tracker. There's going to be a new route with Cass. Devil man. Demon man. What's not to love? What's not to freaking love? Great stuff. All right. This month, you heard it here. Madugo send all these beans some love. Do it. You know you want to. But for right now, we are going to go on a raid. And we are going to go and raid this person because we haven't in a while. But if you would like some more shenanigans, voice acty, um, podcasty vibe times, um, and just general good chill chaos once again, go and check out the ever wonderful, lovely time package. Uh, currently playing some Tony, to Tony, Tony Clancy. Yep. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist. It plays freaking T Tony Hawk. That's what I was thinking of. He plays Tony Hawk on Fridays, which is a really, really good fun time. And he's a wonderful, wonderful friend, wonderful streamer, wonderful voice actor as well. Um, who you'll hopefully be able to catch in our text adventure project at some point. Um, and on Mondays we stream together. We're currently streaming through the Assassin's Creed series and going, oh, this is a game. Um, Tony Hawk Splinter Cell would be fire, right? Right, there you go. Make it happen, somebody. Um, but yes, do go and send him some love. But right now, we are going to go and send our love to the lovely Jamie, Jamie Wame, Jamie Wame Games, which is a slightly more wholesome vibe. But she's playing some Mass Effect Large and Large and Largendry edition. So be sure to go and send him love. Her her love. I can't speak anymore. B is because Death Row's looking at me. She's judging me. Be sure to go and send Jammy your love. Even if you have to raid and run, just pop in, say hi, send the raid message along, which Hess has very lovingly put for you. Um, you can replace it with different emotes that you prefer or other emotes if you are not. Uh, there you go. Hess got you covered. And Tony Splinter Cell Mushing Burr. Yep, of the void. <laughs> um, but do go and send Jammy your love if you could really quickly spend some time there if you can would be really much appreciated check out her rules all of that good stuff be nice be courteous all of those good things don't don't do anything you wouldn't do in front of death or uh, you know except lose grace you know but can't really help that but yes until next time thank you so much for coming along thank you for joining thank you for the raids Pierogi boy, Zed, thank you for the Zed, thank you for the follow. Scarm, thank you for the raid. Thank you all for coming along. Be sure to check out all our lovely modest heads as well. And until next time, look after yourselves, look after other people, lead with empathy, lead with compassion. Be the change you want to see in the world, be the light you want to see in the world, and be the friend you need in the world, because you never know when those things will come back around for you. And until next time, little angels, better behave. <laughs> or the darkness will come for you.